Hi, welcome to uh, Passion de las Passiones. So this is a game that was possible through the Gauntlet Hangouts. Uh, I am Jamie, I'll be the GM for today, slash tonight, slash uh, we're all across the globe, which is super cool. And I'm super excited to run this game. I've been wanting to run this forever. Uh, and this is going to be my first time and I'm so excited to be playing with these really, really super awesome players today. So we'll go ahead and introduce our our players today, starting with uh, in character keeper order. So we'll start with our arresting beauty over here. Uh, so my name is Lowell, uh, pronouns he, him, and I'm running uh, Alejandro uh, de Sala, uh, also pronouns uh, he, him, and he is the beauty and uh, we're in this this wonderful beach resort, and uh, uh, I I move around, I drift with the wind, um, uh, even though I'm actually part owner of this because my my late wife died under mysterious circumstances, and uh, uh, I'm just uh, just a person who loves too much, and just just don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Um, most of my moves revolve around. Uh, 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 that and uh, I just uh, just got so much of me to go around. So there I am, not a not a malicious bone in my body. All right, I think that's all you need to know. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, and then next we're going to have. I love looking at these two. Um, oh my gosh, I just suddenly blanked on his name. Uh, our twins, Enrique. Yeah, yeah. So let's start with. Enrique then. Uh, hi, my name is Samin. I use any pronouns. I'm going to play Enrique. Uh, he, him. He is the twin of uh, El Jefe, but uh, he he is um, he has been abroad. He's been an adventurer, sometimes smuggler, mostly free spirit, running around all over the world, having adventures and, and uh, relaxing at beautiful places i guess uh and now he is back because it's the 80th birthday of his mother uh and he also has a bone to pick with his twin we don't really know what that's about but we'll find out i guess he uh -huh. has a he has a malicious bone in his body but it's not that <laughs> malicious i hope right. we'll it's see. like slightly malicious just like a just a malicious bit. enough to be interesting Right, right, just the right amount. Okay, uh, and then next, let's hear about uh, Commodoro. Uh, I'm Gerwin, I am playing Commodoro Esteban, who uh, is El Jefe, using the El Jefe playbook. He is a retired war hero who tried to turn that into political office and uh, ran, ran for uh, governor of the uh, local province and uh, failed miserably and bankrupted himself in the process. And now he works as, I wouldn't say a, a majordomo for the resort, but he is the face of the resort where this is set. He is the public figure, the well-known hero who everyone comes to meet and who welcomes everyone as they get off the boat, get off the flying boat as they come into the resort. Very uh, Fantasy Island style. Okay, and last but not least, our humble employee. Hi, yeah, I'm David, uh, he, him pronouns, and I am playing um, Hector Bernal. Um, he is, as I said, in the, um, in the employee playbook. Um, he works at the resort um, as a cook. Um, he has... Um, uh, he is currently being courted by both of the twins, with, probably without each other's knowledge, uh, though though his heart is set on on Enrique at least for now. Um, the um, uh, he's um, as I say, he works at the uh, at the resort as a cook. Um, I think his but his like ambition is to one day uh, reopen the old family restaurant that his uh, his grandmother used to run before it had to be shut down because of uh, you know. Um, probably some some crooked deal back in in the very early episodes of this uh, of this particular series. 
Ooh, right. And which brings us to uh, a really awesome mechanic that I like that's present here in terms of um, last time on, right? So uh, what we're going to do is, so like David pointed out, this is part of a long, uh, long running series. It's probably episode 50 something uh, by now. So uh, you can pick anything you like from the list that you have. We'll go backwards this time. We'll start with our employee and move our way backwards um, to the beauty. So which of the flashbacks would you, well, not really flashbacks, but uh, episode summaries are you? Keen yeah. On. So I think given that we're about to have this this um, uh, big um, 80th birthday party, um, we the, the, the sort of last time on we see like a um, one of those big flat boxes with a ribbon around it on um, on um, uh, Hector's uh, bed, uh, which you know he opens up and inside is like an immaculate suit, um, you know, sort of tuxedo thing with the sort of probably like a frilly um, a frilly shirt and uh, um, and, a, and an elegant um, uh, an elegant sort of Venetian style mask um, in the um, oh, and I think it will be like a um, um, what will be the, the face on it? It will be a fox, I think, and. Um, um, and it's just got like a, um, uh, it's just got like one of those little, um, you know, um, gift cards um, inside that just has a big question mark written on it. Ooh, so we're not sure who it came from. And the, the camera zooms in on you looking at it, holding the card to your face. Are you worried are you excited are you a mix of something yeah i think you know we definitely get like a shocked reaction at um, a shocked reaction at first but then one of those kind of like far away and knowing looks uh, out of the window perfect perfect i like it so we'll have to see who it came from uh and how about the flashback for our commodoro the commodore is walking around the uh, walking around the uh, resort, he's greeting people. There's travellers coming in. He goes up to them. He's there smiling, shaking hands. And uh, he stops and pauses and looks at the ring that he uh, wears on his finger. Oh, Papa, Father, I miss you. I miss you. I miss you more than I, I can tell. I just hope you'll be, this is all internal monologue. Uh, I hope you'll be proud of me. And he rubs his father's wedding ring and he goes, that he wears. And he goes on and he goes to meet people and get, meets people. And he walks away from one of the crowds and he goes to rub the red and wing again. And the, his father's wedding ring is missing. Ooh. Oh no. So uh, I also want to say that as you're going through the internal monologue, it's that kind of thing where there's too much reverb and it really echoes uh, in the show. So as you as you realize um, that your father's ring is missing, I want a flashback within a flashback. What horrible tragedy befell your father? I think my I think our father served in the navy as well, and I, I think there was a. Uh, I think uh, there's uh, myself and uh, Enrique. He's taken us out on a little boat as we go to sea, a little dinghy as he's teaching us to sail. And as as we're out there, the weather turns, the storm starts coming in, and uh, I I I say to uh, I I say to him. Papa, we should go back. We should return. And if Sabine's okay for this, I think uh, Enrique encourages him to stay out just a little bit longer. And the storm comes in and we're capsized. And our father is dragged away to sea, never to be seen again. Oh, so he's lost, but we don't know if he's still like that. Yes. Right, because we didn't see a body. Uh, and we yeah. know in these tell as long as we don't see a body. Um, 
Right. And so speaking of which, speaking of tragedy, I realized I made uh, a pretty big mistake. I forgot to cover our lines and veils. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove it from the screen first, just so that uh, people watching the video can't see what's in our lines and veils. And I just want to ask everybody to go to the last tab. Um, so Lowell Hill printed together, you can click on what is a line for you, what is a veil for you. Um, and I'm gonna give everyone a couple of minutes before we go to our next characters. I apologize for forgetting this step. Okay, and let me know uh, when everybody's okay, just press okay in the chat. I mean, just type okay uh, in our private chat just so that I'm sure we are good to go. Uh, please feel free to add anything. I'm going to check in on the lines and veils every so often as we play. Um, but also we have an open door policy. So if you need to leave at any time, you don't need to explain. Uh, you can, if you can let us know when you're coming back, but if not, that's perfectly fine. And we're also going to have the script, cha uh, script change in place. So if we need to stop, if we need to fast forward, if we need to rewind, just please let me know. But is everyone here familiar with script change? Just in case, do we, should we go over it? Okay, all right, so we're good to go. Is there any other support tool we'd rather see or are we okay with this particular combination? Okay, all right, all right. So I double check, we're all okay to go. Um, yeah, so let's continue with our flashback sequence. I love that. I'm, of, of course, I, I wrote that in my notes. There was no body. Uh, so we'll see if that comes up today. All right, and then next, let me just switch it back to the character keeper and share it again for the screen. So for our next flashback, we have it from Enriquez perspective. Yeah, okay. So um, we see um, a person who looks like the Commodore. I mean, he's wearing the same suit and he has sort of the same beard. It's a little narrower, maybe, if you really look for it. Um, and he's in his home and he's walking around, looking at stuff, touching stuff, looking at pictures of his mama, of his papa. Uh, well, the last one that there was when they were both kids. And I think what he leaves behind is, oh, I think he exchanges that picture for another picture of their papa where he's significantly older. And at some sort of a beach somewhere in the Caribbean, maybe. Ooh. And he, he has a bottle of rum, maybe. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not very, you don't immediately notice that these pictures have been exchanged because they are not very prominent. But maybe uh, if Esteban is in that kind of mood, he might notice that this picture has been exchanged. Ooh, how mysterious. So can we also like, I want another like a <laughs> flashback within a flashback as we zoom on in the picture and it starts to move. What is the scene that the photo captured? I think it's uh, when um, uh, it's maybe five or six years ago. It's somewhere in the Caribbean. It's probably not that far away from where the boat capsized, actually. And we see Enrico walking the beach, and he's looking for somebody to uh, deliver something to. And then he notices this old old guy sitting there, and he goes up to him like Papa. And the old guy looks at him like, "Huh? Who are you?" So uh, yeah. Amazing, amazing. I love this. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, and then last but not least, uh, previously on for our beauty. And I think we see uh, Alejandro, there's a, a pre-party and uh, he is 
you know, hand on the, the shoulder of uh, Commodoro Esteban and having a, a great time, uh, kind of kind of poking at, at Esteban. And then we see this this young, fiery redhead beauty come up uh, and, and approach and look. And uh, I look and uh, the Commodoro narrows his eyes and uh, uh, and I say, who is this? And the Commodoro goes, this is my niece. And I'm like, oh, interesting. And that's my scene. Okay, so, um, and do you have any ideas for about your niece, Esteban, or like a... I, I have some ideas. I think I'll let them come out in play. Sure, uh... okay, okay. So uh, uh, everyone... I, I, I think she's I think she's a student. She's come to visit for the party. Uh, I think she's studying politics and is an activist in uh, local politics. I think she's from the uh, the political party from me, which is something we argue about constantly. Right, right. And I'm also thinking that um, so she's around Alejandra's age, um, and I'm thinking like previously. In another episode, she used to look much more plain. Uh, and when we say plain, we just mean she had glasses on and, you know. Uh, the last time I saw her, mm -hmm. she looked super plain. You know, you didn't even she's notice a, her. a few years younger than I. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But now suddenly she, you can't take your mm, eyes off her. <laughs> okay, so we're going to switch over uh to the episode proper so the title card shows up uh, and it zooms in there's like you know those aerial drone shots uh this exciting music comes on and we see the resort laid out it's absolutely stunning the waters are a deep crystal blue the sand is a pure white and the resort is very very exclusive we see a shot of a plane a private jet having to come in, we know that only the very rich uh, have access to this island. It's a, it's a well-known secret among the elite. And we also see Esteban's boat, right? There's a shot of him on the boat holding these parties. There's a shot of Hector uh, serving drinks as a bartender. We have Alejandro teaching surfing, and we tossing see, his hair back. Right, with the water <laughs> comes just, just slow motion, <laughs> and the water sparkles for a second. You know the way that telenovelas do, where they really like go over the guy's body, like that sort of like uh, what's happening. Uh, and the last shot is of our twin, right. Uh, sort of like keeping keeping a low profile for now, it would feel. Okay, so um, we go to our first scene as it unfolds, and it is our dear matriarch's birthday party. So Eleonora is turning 80 years old, and of course, her son Esteban is here to help the party along. Esteban, was it your idea for this grand masquerade ball of a party or was it someone else's? Oh yes, this, uh, I, I was looking through old photographs from my mother's uh, time with my father as they're growing up and they actually met at a party just like this. Uh, this is the reminder of all the good times of her past. This is the reminder of her youth and, and the heights of extravagance and luxury that she had as a, uh, as a young woman and uh everything there's no modern music here everything is 1950s 1960s uh, so that there's this uh, like i say we've got the crooner in we've got the jazz we've got the jazz band in and the latin latin american guitars go in there and we've we, we've got like when i say a band i mean a it's, this isn't four or five people. This is a veritable orchestra of people actually uh, playing. Uh, with It's very much like one of those uh, nightclubs, but it's all outside on the pier. So uh, it's all exposed to the elements. There's beautiful, beautiful day, uh, 
beautiful wind coming in. I think we're just approaching sunset as well. So uh, the the sun is just peeking above the actual waves itself and we get this lovely golden glow in the sky around us. Right, absolutely. And I would say that the the band, there's someone who's singing and she's dressed up exactly like your mother back in her heyday when she was really famous, when she was beloved by everyone in the country. And she's wearing this particular dress that uh, really changed fashion that was made for your mother at the time specifically. It's a beautiful recreation of the dress. And she sings a song that was dedicated to your mother because your mother had smitten so many artists and so much was dedicated to her. And so all of this is a celebration. And Eleonora herself looks a little overwhelmed. She's still beauty, uh, beautiful for her. 80 years old, her steel gray hair, but her eyes are still sharp. Uh, she's in a simple dress, well, simple for her. Uh, for what's compared to everybody else, it's still dripping in sequins and you know, uh, all of these crystals, of course. Uh, but it's simple compared to what you wanted for her, I'll say. Um, and so what is our bartender doing? Yeah, so I think as we get the um, the, the sun going down, um, we get like a, a, a sudden um, a shot of... Um, um, of um, Hector uh, entering the, the 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 scene of the party. Um, he's he's wearing this, as I said, this sort of like immaculately tailored suit that's been absolutely perfectly fitted to him. Um, uh, with with this like um, yeah fox face mask over it, um, and like the only way we, we we I think that you know we kind of get like his or like a slightly a slightly tweaked version of his usual like musical sting. Um, as he comes in, and obviously we've had the 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 previously on scene, so that we know that this is him behind the mask. Um, and I think um, as sort of the camera travels down to him, he um, walks perhaps with a bit more um, um, like confidence than normal. Um, but uh, but we do see him kind of go. Um, uh, walk up to one of the um uh walk up to one of the the other um uh caterers here one of the other waiters or whatever and, and and sort of murmur you know just murmur something to them um that we don't really catch um and they sort of go off to 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 you know attend to something right and then so when when we see uh, our employee now in this amazing fox mask uh, when we see Hector in it. Esteban, do you think you still can recognize him even with the mask on? Is there something that's telling you that this is Hector in this beautiful suit? I, I, I think initially, no, I, I can't actually recognize him. Uh, I, I see him come forward. He's not dressed like the other servants. I'm mistaken for a guest, and I, I I step forward to greet him as I do with all the guests who are coming to the party. Uh, right? Are you also wearing a mask? Like what kind of? Oh mask yes, I, I'm I'm wearing a, a classical Greek style, sorry, classical Roman style mask of Poseidon, king of the sea. Ooh. Okay, so Hector, do you let Esteban know that it's you under the fox mask, or do you keep that close to you for now? Uh, you're muted, Dave. So I am. Uh, yeah, I think um, um, I think for now, um, um, Hector uh, just just says um, uh, it's a pleasure to be here, Commodore, um, and kind of gives a. Um, I mean, not not like a full on bow, but you know, gives kind of a, a, a respectful nod of his head. Um, right. It is a it is a pleasure to have you, Signor. Uh, may I ask? May I ask how you know my mother? I um, I have um, been. Um, I, I, I've 
I'm trying to think how he's going to phrase it to, to kind of keep maximum <laughs> ambiguity. Um, yeah. I think um, I have um, worked for her for some time. Ah, you were a member of her band, perhaps. But you seem so young. That is, that is the frame of a young, young man. Ooh, and this is like where the camera pans across the two bodies. You are a musician, no doubt. I would not say that, though I do dance a little. Oh, well, there'll be much dancing to do tonight. I also take to the floor. I hope to see you there. I am sure uh, you will, Commodore. Okay. Uh huh. No, I, I, that seems like a good point to actually yeah. end that. Right. So the two of you part. There's a lot of people here at the party, and so you're both moved along by the waves of people. And as the camera continues to move, it settles on Alejandro, whose eyes are piercing through the camera lens. And we see this redheaded beauty walking through the party. She looks a little shy. She looks like she's not quite sure what to do with herself here. She's looking around. You see her try to talk to someone and she holds back and she's keeping to herself. So what do you do, Alejandro? Well, I, I have just like like the smallest domino mask because you can't hide this gorgeousness. So uh, <laughs> it's very obvious uh, who it is. And I will I will uh, approach. I, as I come by, I, I grab a, a couple of uh, 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 flutes of champagne. And I come over and I say, oh, oh, beauty. I... You look to me like uh, perhaps you are, are lost. Here, a drink for you. And when she looks at you, she realizes she's supposed to have a mask on. Um, and, and she hurriedly tries to put her mask back on. And it's of this beautiful, like it's also the same Venetian style uh, of the fox, but this time it's a rabbit. And the ears are curled around and she hastily puts it back on. Uh, and she's about to drop it. So this happens in slow motion, right? The mask is dropping. What do you do? I will, a as gallantly as I can, try to catch that that mask and uh, and hold it for her so that she can, can cover her face again and not embarrass herself in here. And uh, she says softly, oh, uh, th thank you. Um, and so... I'm wondering, are you trying to express your love for her immediately, or are you going to hold back on that for a bit? Oh, I think that it's immediate. I, I, I will have when I have a chance. I'll, I'll, I'll put my hand on her arm and I say, "Here, here, let me, let me help you. Let me guide you over here, so we might talk a while." <laughs> there is and, no uh, one more beautiful than you here this evening, so. And uh, so she nods. Uh, you can tell that she's sort of thinking to herself, like she should, she should hold herself back. She's she's looking at where you're pointing her towards, uh, and she looks towards her uncle, and she's kind of biting her lip. She's a little unsure of herself. How are you going to convince her? I see. Just a moment. Just uh, we can just talk a little bit. Uh, uh, I, I. I, I do not know who you are, I lie. Um, and uh, I, I would want to know. Ooh, so would you like to demand what you deserve? Ooh, I, I like that. Yes, yes, come and, come and okay. tell me. All right, so we have here, I realize I forgot to send the link for the role for your party. So it's here in the chat. It's called The Socially Cheerful Elf. I like that. That seems <laughs> appropriate for Christmas. <laughs> And let's see, so you have your main question uh, as the beauty, which you always have access to. Are you the center of attention? I, I think for, 
for this because there aren't. Uh, it, I'm just so focused on her. I think I'm. Uh, I, I'm not the center of attention in the room. Um, uh, I I I do think that I'm offering something of value in return. I mean, look at this. Uh, but I don't think she loves me yet. Okay, so we're going to roll with a plus one. Okay. Oh wait, sorry. The question was. Do they no you get you get that plus so you're rolling okay. at the plus two all right uh so let me get my two d6 do yellow and oh so that is an eight Ooh, nice okay so on an eight uh you get to choose let's see i will choose do 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 one of these options. <laughs> I'd say that in the last moment, like she's about to go with you. You can feel her, her will crumbling. Um, but then you see another man behind her who sharply calls her name and she gasps a little bit and she pulls away from you, but she sort of like brushes her fingers against your cheek just a little bit as she does. But what do you take from them? Oh, I think I take my little rabbit's mask. <laughs> I'll have to return that to her later. Of course. So it falls and away from her face. Uh huh. Can I have the man who called to her be one of my thugs? Oh, sure. Of course, of course. Let's have that. So he's, they're specifically on the lookout. Have they been given instructions or are they acting on their own? Oh, yes. They've been told to keep them apart. <laughs> okay. So, but the mask is now in your possession. And at this, at this moment, I want to like sort of look at our, our twin. So how are you here? What are you doing here at the party, Enrique? I think I will be an actual disguise at the party so I can walk around and uh, talk to people a little. Um, I will wear something not quite as um, dominant as the Poseidon mask. It will be more, let's say, restrained a bit. It's still, uh, he's still wearing some sort of I think it's not a uniform because he never was in the military, uh, but it will be, uh, I think he will be as some sort of a sailor, I guess, in the sailor's outfit. Um, and he will wear a mask of some sort of sea creature, maybe not uh, uh, like a merman or something like that. Mm. And nice, nice. yeah. And he will try to make his way up to the person in the fox mask, which is Hector, which he for some reason knows, of course. Ah, so you can, oh, for some reason. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> uh, so as you walk towards Hector, Hector, what are you doing in this moment? Uh, are you near the dance floor? Are you drinking? Are you enjoying the music? Um, yeah, I think... Um... Um, I think that um, Hector has just um, got a um, uh, was, was it sundown. So I think it will actually be a um, a cocktail of of um, you know like a uh, um, a margarita or something. Um, uh, that's um, not not like an over the top like uh, thing, but it probably does have like a bit of um, a bit of fruit on the edge of the glass and looks a bit fancy. Um, uh, and um, he is um yeah i think probably stood maybe at the minute he's he's just got the drink and is just looking out over the sea um uh, as the as the sun sets Ooh, nice yeah um, i will step up to hector and uh, i will say you look very lovely in your in this outfit hector i believe i have not seen it on you before um and um hector will turn around and say no, it was a um, a gift um, from, I think, someone very special to me. Someone who knows you very well. This looks 
just just like you. It fits you so well. But the that, fox mask, are you hunted? Perhaps, but um, I do not know. I think I would certainly like, uh, as you say, I think the person who got this for me knows me well, but I would like for them to get to know me better. Mm. Well, you're an interesting person, like a fox. It's hard to see if you're the hunted or if you're the hunter. I mean, I would like to know you better. Um, and um, I, I think at that, Hector is going to... Um, um uh reach up and put a hand under um uh under Enrique's chin um and say um I would be more than happy to be your prey if you wish to take a bite. Oh well, are you expressing your love passionately? I, I think so, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy with how this is like. I feel like I'm really watching a really good show. <laughs> okay, um, so you have your question that you always get to answer as an employee. And for you, it is, are you in over your head? I don't think I am at the minute, actually. I think um, I think that... that uh, you know, in 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 this mask and stuff, Hector is in an unusually um, like controlled position. Um, right. So yeah, I don't think that one does apply. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the questions for the move itself, right. um, I, I am absolutely dressed to impress. Oh um, yes. And um, uh, does does Enrique believe that I am single? I, so I, there's certainly been, I don't think, any indication that he that um, that, that he isn't. But I think Enrica hopes that you are single. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah. I don't think there's been any indication that. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. So that's a plus two right now. Yeah. Ooh. And because uh, Enrique is my love, I believe I also get a plus one. Absolutely. Um, wow. On onto that. So. Um, and you can always go, go up to maximum plus four in the game. So, yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> that's a good job because that gets me a seven in total. Uh, <laughs> with the US plus three. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, on a seven, on a hit, your target gives themselves to you or reveals a secret they probably shouldn't. Mm -hmm. So, ha. Huh. What happens? Uh, is that my choice or yours? Oh, no, it's your choice, absolutely. Oh, cool. I mean, I would love to give myself to him, but I also would love to reveal a secret I probably shouldn't. Hmm. Ooh, such good Ooh. choices. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I, I'll have to think of a secret that I would like to reveal, though. Oh, I have a, I have a secret. Uh, I have a very lovely secret, I think, maybe. And I will... Uh, I will move closer to you and I will then whisper in your ear and I will tell you, you know, who gave you that suit? I believe it was my mother. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like we're telepathically connected. I was exactly thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, and, and back. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I don't know what she means by that. But I think she thinks you should be something to one of her sons. And I think so too. Ooh. Maybe not the son she had in mind. Nice, nice. Absolutely. Uh, and speaking of which, that's when uh, there's a slow motion transition. All the lights start to burn and grow brighter. And we see uh, the spotlight move towards our birthday celebrate Eleonora 
and she's called to the middle. Uh, there, there's someone that wants to serenade a special song to her, but then suddenly there's screams in the distance. You can hear people getting upset, and then you can hear gunfire, and then a voice rings out, everybody down on the ground and nobody gets hurt, right? And then you can see towards the edge of the party, there's a whole group of people wearing these dark black masks and they have these guns on them. And one of them suddenly shows up behind uh, Eleonora and holds her hostage. So they have a gun to her head and you can feel the tension suddenly rash it up. Uh, but actually I'm going to say that Esteban, you recognize the hand that's holding onto your mother, you see this telltale tattoo that appears and it's someone you used to know um, back in the day. Who is this person? I think while I worked in the Navy, I didn't just uh, fight in the war. I think I actually uh, put down several small groups of pirates. Ooh. Uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean, even. But uh, I think this was actually a, a gang leader who uh, was running the pirate boats off. I think this tattoo is actually the tattoo of a, a gang of a small group of pirates or criminals that mm -hmm. uh, basically would board uh, luxury yachts and take the people there captive to try and get ransom and steal from them. Absolutely, right. And, uh, and I, I, I think they're called the Black Swans. Oh, and they, I love they that. have they actually have a little black swan tattoo mm -hmm. not on their hands. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, and then in this tattoo, you can sort of see like there's the start of a of a horrible burning a burn scar because the last time you saw him, this leader of the Black Swans, you swore that you saw him burn alive. And he must have died, but here he is in the flesh. It has to be him under the mask. So what do what do you do? No, it cannot be. And uh, as everyone else uh, gets down to the ground, Esteban's still standing there. I think he walks with a walking a, walks with a cane. Well, he has a cane and a walking stick that he actually uses, and he. he Everyone else goes down, and he's there, and just still standing amongst the sea of folk who've dropped. How dare you come to this place? How dare you target this, these people? Oh. Was our last was our last beating not less than enough? And he, he'll start walking mm -hmm. towards them. And then uh, Esteban like <clears throat> makes a sound. Uh, and someone behind you shows up and put, places a gun at the back of your head. And you hear a voice whisper saying, you don't get to talk to him like that. So this is a good time for anyone to jump in to try to take control of the situation. But you know, if Esteban also wants to do something here, that's totally. Yeah, I would like to take. I would oh. like to do something. I mean, I've been in uh, scraps and stuff like that. And this is my mother. Remember, this is my mother as well. So I'm yes. a bit miffed. And uh, I don't know, this, the the last incarnations of Passion that Las Passion has had uh, gear or stuff like that, like guns and things, but this one doesn't. So I feel that it might be okay if I have some <laughs> kind of, oh, yeah. I don't know, some kind of weapon at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like your, let's say like your, your suit opens up a little bit and there's this hidden holster that's Oh, tight to your right. chest okay. you know so i will what i will do is i will move up there like like i'm part like, like this is not something that is unusual right i'm just walking up there because that's what you do this is totally normal maybe i'm part of these these uh, pirate party guys and then we will do a little mexican standoff where i threaten this guy with a gun to my mother with my own gun and i will tell him uh Excuse me. I believe this is the party guest of honor. This is very uncivilized. Don't do that. Ooh, nice, nice. And then the and the and then you see uh, as my sleeve rolls back a little, you can see mm -hmm. another black swan tattoo. 
Yes, I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, I really feel like I'm telepathically linked to Sabine because I was about to ask when was the last time you worked with the Black Swans? Anyway, okay, yes, yes. Uh, so this, if I'm right, I feel like this is a strike out at someone move. Unless you also have the flashback moves if you want to mm. take advantage of them. Let's say you flashback to preparations um, or we can just stick to strike out at someone. I think I don't, I have not prepared for the black swan guys mm -hmm. coming here at my dear old mama. Uh, so I have not prepared for that. So um, they think, I think they have caught me off guard, but they have wronged me by taking my mother hostage. Oh yeah. And right now I'm well, not taking advantage of my twin's reputation because ah. I'm not pretending to be my twin. I'm just uh, mm -hmm. pretending to be myself or, or mm -hmm. someone, somebody. So I'm rolling with plus one, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and I'm rolling with my own dice here. Oh, well, I have a seven and eight. So Ooh. that seems nice. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, so on an, let's see. Doo, doo, doo. On a eight, you said, right? Yeah. Okay, so your strike lands and you each mark a condition. Okay, so uh, tell me what you do. Yeah, I threaten, him, threaten him. Mm -hmm. I threaten him with the gun and maybe he uh, kind of uh, decides to shoot at me and then I decide to move in. More like hit him with my gun, really. I don't want to shoot around. It's a party. You don't shoot at parties, and not especially not when my mother is close by. And I will hit him with my gun across okay. the face. Yeah. So and you what, hit what, him. what kind of uh, st what does uh, take a condition mean? Do I get uh, to? Yeah, you get one to choose these? any one of these. Mm -hmm. okay. Either defensive, driven, righteous, or reactive. And please note that every time you. Mark one, you get a plus one to one move and a minus two to another one. Okay, I think I mark righteous because at that point I'm feeling yes. pretty righteous. Yeah, absolutely. So you smack him with the gun in the back of your head, but before he goes down, he fires off a shot and everyone starts to panic, right? The other, the rest of the black swan are panicking. And I will say that Alejandro, you see the redhead, she's screaming and you can see like one of the thugs, one of the, oh, I don't wanna say thugs, that's a, those dogs belong to someone else. Uh, one of the black swan are perilously close to her. But uh, I do also want to stress though that the leader has been knocked out and our matriarch is safely in the arms of her long forgotten son. Do you, like actually Sabine, I want to ask, do you want this to be a moment where your mask falls away a little bit and she sees you or do you want to keep the mask on for now? I think I want to keep the mask on, but maybe it's something about my voice that she thinks maybe she recognizes, but she's not sure. So she's she, can have sure. Scene, she can have a scene with Esteban later about the whole okay. thing where I have this. Okay, very good, very good. But then how about everybody else? Well, if the leader's been taken down and the situation is not quite as dangerous as it was, maybe a little <laughs> less dangerous, then then in that case, I will uh, go to to interpose myself to protect uh, the the rabbit at that point. And uh, uh, I I'm moving like this because I know some capoeira. Kind of learned it on the beach, you know, so I know that, and uh, I uh, I'll, I'll I'll play that up. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so are you trying to mislead, distract, or trick someone, or are you trying to do something else? Yeah, I, I like that, uh, that that uh, I am trying to draw uh, uh, this. Uh, actually, what I think I'm trying to, to, to mislead is this young woman to think that I'm actually much braver than I am. Oh, yes, yes, I like that. That's very, very good. Uh, I will say that as you as you step up and you're doing these moves, I would say that you're probably there's a lot going on, but you're enough of the center of attention. I think. Okay. Yeah. I like you're that. Looking, you're looking good. You're looking good. I don't think they have any reason to disbelieve me yet. 
Yeah. So, mm-hmm. uh, but no, no pressure uh, from <laughs> them. So I will roll with a plus two. Okay, let's see. That is an eight. Ooh, okay. So on a hit, they are fooled for a moment. You learn a valuable secret or create an opportunity. Which one would you prefer? I think I will give her the opportunity to to, to move away, um, you know, with her heart fluttering a little. Of course, of course. As as it ought to. Yeah, to yeah. Look at me. Uh, <laughs> in fact, as she as she moves away, she goes, you hear her say, oh, I, I knew you wouldn't. I knew you would be here for me. I knew it. Oh, yes. And, uh, but she goes uh, towards safety. But how, I feel like uh, our employee and our El Jefe, right? What are they up to? Because uh, does anyone have an idea for what they want their character to do in this precarious situation? People are still panicking. There's still guns going on. Oh, I, I'm running towards my mother. But mm-hmm. I would also like to flash back at this point to prior oh. preparations, if I could, please. Of course. That's what it's there for. Okay. So uh, Let me just look up the move. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. So uh, I am going to uh, flash back to a, uh, to a prison. Mm. And uh, there is the Admiral in his uniform, and a prisoner gets led into an interrogation room. The guards chain him to the desk, and he walks out, and the Admiral stood there with his back to him. He turns around and looks to him, and this prisoner has one of these black swan tattoos on their hand. Nah. Pull. Pull. Oh, what a mess you get yourselves into. I cannot always be there to save you. Young man, young man, you do realize what happens tomorrow, don't you? You have killed many people. No, no, but, but, and you can see that he's like shaking and nervous. I know what you plan to do. I know what your little group plans for me and my kind, me and my people. It won't succeed, but I can protect you. Protect me? Yes, protect you. I can spare you the hangman's noose, but there is a favor I must ask. And he starts nodding immediately anything I'll, I'll, I'll do anything and uh, i think we cut to the uh, cut to the present time mm-hmm. and uh you've got uh, esteban and uh and the mother uh, eleonora there they're holding each other and i think they're going to start talking and i think it's going to cut back slightly and when the shot goes off there's actually two shots timed at the same time Ooh. And one goes into the air, and another one, you can see someone in the bushes, that same young man, with a with a rifle, with a silencer. And the scope comes up, it hovers over Esteban, uh, it hovers over Enrique, and then it moves to Eleonora, and when there's the shot, bang! Ooh. And I will roll to see what I actually do with that. I believe I need to mark a condition to do it. Mm-hmm. So I will mark. A... Oh, let's see. On a hit, only on a hit. So first you get to roll because just in case you hit a 10, I guess, you don't need okay. to mark the condition. Uh, also, I feel like your playbook question comes into comes into play here you're taking control of the situation oh very much so yes <laughs> uh so uh, i am uh, so the questions for this are mm-hmm. uh did you have plenty of time to do it mm-hmm. well in, in this case uh, i've set this up mm-hmm. uh, i'm the reason that these people are at this party mm-hmm. uh so i i'm hoping that gets a plus one. Oh yeah mm-hmm. and did i have someone looking out for trouble 
Ooh. Yeah. That's the question. Mm. Uh, I would say that there is someone, someone you have always had to keep in the shadows, who's made sure that you stay successful, stay in the limelight, uh, but they're in the shadows now. Who are they? And why are they so keen on protecting you? I think uh, I was running for governor of the local province and I was doing it at the beckons of the of El Presidente. Uh, so uh, I think we've got a member of the actual uh, secret, well, secret service. In fact, in fact, the person taking the shot, I think, if I can just uh, rewind yeah. the script slightly, is, sure. is this is a shadowy, uh, shadowy person of the uh, actual Secret Service itself for actually taking a shot at my mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, let's see me roll a double one like I normally do with the no, sketch No, don't roll. do that. <laughs> uh, I get a 10. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, so on a 10, you do not need to uh, mark a condition or anything. Uh, choose one. I think I had the, uh, I think the Brain thing for somebody I had, to be at the right place at the right time. The right time, yes, and yeah. take that shot and shoot my mother. But I think oh. there's going to be this. I think there's going to be this whole thing of the mother. It's not obvious that she's actually been injured. Yeah, yeah. And that yeah. when when she's talking to my brother, it's slowly going to become apparent uh, that she's uh, been shot. Yes, yes, yes. Like the 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 red starts to blossom. I, I think there's a little bit of blood on her lips initially, yeah. and then there's the uh, the white gown. The white gown she's wearing yeah. slowly yeah. starts. There's a red stain starts to spread out. Right, right, and then so we're um, we're switching um, back to. Uh -huh. Am I aware that this couldn't have been the shot of the guy I just knocked out? I think I would be right. I mean, it wouldn't be maybe readily aware to everybody, but I think I might be aware of that. Ooh, that let's see. Was, I, I think. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Let me just double check. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I could go with spot something out of place. I was about to say, yeah, just to see if you know. Huh. Have I been intimate with this person recently? I don't think so, but she's my mother, on the other hand. Are you yeah. free of other distractions? I mean, this was what I was focused on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So let's see. Okay. And I feel like this is happening in slow motion, right? The, oh, yeah. The, blood and the, the music swells and uh, in the distance, Hector um, is watching all of this unfold. Yeah, but I don't make the move. Uh, I don't make the roll. I roll five plus one is six, so I cannot ask any questions. So I don't notice. That's Ooh. fine. Uh, I'll say the reason that you don't notice. Hmm. I do want you to notice, though, but I want there to be a horrible, maybe can to reflect I, this. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Can I offer a compromise? Yes, yes. Do you think that the shot that he fired was actually the one that killed her and was a ricochet? And this is all your fault? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm down with that. Yes. Yes, yes, that's, yes. That's fine. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. So you're so overwhelmed with guilt. You feel yeah. like this is your fault. She holds out a shaking hand towards I'm, your face. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm taking her hand and I'm, I'm saying, and then I'm, I'm, but, but only loosely, and I'm saying, I'm sorry, Mama. And then I'm fleeing. I'm running away because, oh my God, I got my mother yeah. killed. That is so. Yeah. Uh, I'm a bit, a bit overwhelmed now. Yeah. So before you, before you run off, like she holds on to you, like her, her hands, like suddenly grow so strong against the the lapels of your of your suit and she says Enrique Enrique I knew all this time I prayed I prayed that you were still alive please promise me promise me that you will fix things with your bra and then she starts to fade away yeah now I have to fix things with my brother yeah <laughs> So uh, your your mother, um, who is the only one who was not masked uh, for the for the party, of course, her hand goes limp, moves in slow motion, uh, and you run away. 
like you like you said, completely overwhelmed by what's happening. Um, and then so the thing is the the rest of these men, the black swan, they still have to uh, go through the motions. There's there's complete panic. But I will say that they're like so afraid right now. If they feel like it's not worth staying, um, they may move I, away. I mm -hmm. think my thugs have actually pulled their guns that they, they carry as well. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh yeah, absolutely. That's going to be another um ooh, we could have you roll that move, but I want to check if our employee wants to get in over their head. Uh yes. do something like the wrong thing or the right thing, depending on what it is. Yeah, so I think I think uh maybe we've got and this may be this this is, was likely to have been happening sort of while while other things have been going on. Um and I think one of the uh you know, one of the the um raiders has like um um been sort of going through the crowd and just you know taking people's valuables um and obviously because um um uh hector is um you know dressed dressed in a very fancy outfit they they assume he has has something on him um and i think we see sort of a, a, you know him being pushed up against um um uh pushed up against like a um you know a a, a what you call it, a, a food stand sort of thing. Um, and sort of guns pushed in his face. And I think um, Hector is going to sort of reach back and pull a carving knife off of the table and sort of attempt to like slash at the um, um, at the uh, um, uh, guy with the gun. Oh, yes. Absolutely. I love this idea with the, with the carving knife and everything. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure like at this moment, like the entire carving station like falls over smashes uh okay so it sounds like you are trying to strike out at someone yeah that sounds good okay so i definitely think you are in over your head <laughs> yeah so um plus one for that. Uh -huh. um have i caught them off guard possibly not um although i think they have just wronged me because you know yeah. the whole holding at gunpoint thing yeah 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 so you get a plus two That's a five in total. Oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, you take out, so you're going at, at this person with the carving knife, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes? Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. My partner, my partner's reacting like carving knife. What's happening? <laughs> 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 uh, so you're, you're going at him with the carving knife and you're about to about to attack him and he pulls up his gun at you but before uh before the two of you could like face each other off i have to ask you um i have to ask you hector who of your family should not be here right now oh um uh yeah my um can uh, I make right. a suggestion? Sorry, can I make a suggestion? Ooh. You know that special forces agent? Ah. <gasps> Are they somehow related to you? Oh, uh, it certainly could be, yeah. Um. And maybe you didn't know? But how are you feeling? I, I, about I, it? I'm, I'm just trying to think of some way to actually bring them in so that there's a link there. But by all means, I'm yeah. sorry, I shouldn't. <laughs> That's okay. We can we can go through with suggestions. But what do you feel is best uh, for your character, David? Um, yeah, no, I, I um, um, yeah, I, I, I think that could uh, that could work. Mm -hmm. So we can say like there was a, so there's a flashback to earlier in the series uh, when you were trying to convince your sibling to not sign up for the secret service, things went wrong for them, so on and so forth. They wouldn't let you see them when they were in jail, all of these things. Like it's a, it's a very painful relationship between the two of you. Uh, and suddenly he shows up and, and just takes out the guy and like 
one fell swoop exposing himself because he couldn't see anything bad happen to you. But he obviously, like he he managed to like get rid of the sniper rifle, I'll say before he got there. But uh, for anyone who's noticing who this person is without a mask coming in, looking the way they do, uh, it's very suspicious. And with that, I think I want to see if the thugs are able to, actually, you know what? I don't think we should roll for this. I think it just makes sense that the thugs do it uh, because there's a lot going on. Uh, there's there's a lot of screaming. So the, the black swan are just trying to get what they can. But what do the thugs do to drive them off? I think they, they draw their guns and they start shooting. Uh, I think there is a firefight breaks out. And I think the thugs have been specifically ordered to make sure there are no witnesses. There are no... Ooh, okay. So if that's the case... Sorry, mm -hmm. that none, none of the Black Swans survived to actually yeah, yeah, exactly, uh, exactly. expose my involvement. Right, absolutely. Okay, so I'll still have you roll just for that, just to see if, like, no one manages to, to get away. Um, because I think that's an interesting... It may be interesting if that doesn't go through, but we'll see. You could roll really well. So uh, I'll say that you're still taking control of the situation using your thugs here. Okay. And the questions for my thugs are, uh, is it an easy job? And is the crew in good health? Uh, I think they're in good health at the moment, but is it an easy job is not something I can answer. Yeah. I don't I think, think so. These, yeah. I think these people have guns and they're shooting back. Yeah, exactly. And then plus you're trying to make sure that no one else gets hurt. So yeah. it's quite complicated, but they're still in good health and you are taking control. So you still have a plus two. So that's a six. Oh, <laughs> okay. So we'll say what happened was, yeah, maybe there's just the, there's just one person, right? So we see a, a close up of her. She has wild black hair framing her face. She has a huge scar across one eye underneath an eye patch. And she grits her teeth. Uh, there's a close up from the camera. And she says, we're not done, Esteban. And then she disappears into the night. OK, so um, before we move on to our next scene. I just want to check in. How's everybody doing? Okay. Uh, so hmm, do we want to push forward or do we want another break? How are you all feeling? I'm fine. Sorry, go on, Sabine. Um, we can take another break, please. That would be lovely. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. How about, a, do you want a five minute or 10 minute break? What would you be comfortable with? Five minutes is fine, I guess. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so let's take a five minute break and then we'll see the horrible fallout of all of this. <laughs>
Hi. <coughs> All right. How's everybody? Yeah, good. Thanks. Yeah, I'm good. Dave, oh, I'm, I'm sorry if I seemed like I was uh, stepping in back there. I realized I may have been a bit too abrupt with suggesting the whole family link there. So I just no, wanted no, to say sorry. Fine. Yeah, but thanks for checking in, G. No problem. I, I I really like the idea too, actually. So I'm glad it uh, it worked out. It's gonna be. I feel like there should be a dramatic moment where the mask, the fox mask, falls off and it cracks or something, like a uh, just to symbolize all the craziness that happened. Okay, and let's see. I'm just checking in with everything. I realize that it makes sense. Ooh. Yeah, I was about to ask. So did Hector go ahead and mark a condition? Uh, yes, I marked cornered. It seemed uh, appropriate. Right, right. Yeah, and I was about to say, I think it also makes sense that uh, our Commodore Esteban also marks a condition from that miss earlier with the with the thugs. Like, uh, and but I and I think I wanted to clearly see her. Like she's the one who got away, so you know who she is. And how she's a, a loose end. Ooh, I like how you marked raging. That's so like. <laughs> I like, I like, uh, I really like this aspect. Like conditions were introduced in earlier PBTA games, but I like how there are different conditions per playbook that really play into the character archetype. Very, very cool. Okay, so I would like to have our next scene. Whoa, there's so many delicious places we could go. Uh, for the next scene, but I kind of want to see more of our beauty, like because now you have this perfect opportunity. You saved her life. She owes you so much. We already know that she's secretly in love with you, but she just hasn't. I mean, the audience knows, uh, but but Alejandro has an inkling, maybe. I would like to potentially uh, uh, push the the drama forward. And potentially cause myself uh, a, a good deal of problems in that I, I think that while all of this is kind of getting squared away, I I do kind of uh, walk her away from the the party to catch her breath, um, and, and you know I'm like oh, but, 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 senorita, I have to good good, good pobrecito, you know, and uh, uh, I'm uh, 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 moving her along and and. But we we happened to go by the place where where the sniper was. Ooh, okay. uh, and, and and I think I would like to uh, uh, see if maybe I can can spot something out of place while we're while we're moving and 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 talking. If that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. I like that a lot. Um, I realize uh, do we have a name for her yet? Did I did I not write it down? Oh uh, no, I don't think we no, mm -hmm. I think you didn't. You give her a name in the chat. Oh yes, it's uh, Alma. Alma. It's Alma. Yes. Alma. Yeah. Okay, okay, writing it down. Thank you. But yeah, go ahead. So let's see. Are you the center of attention? Not not a big crowd, so I'm not going to claim that one. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that we are apart from other people, so I think I am free of distractions. But wasn't intimate with the sniper. Uh, recently, so I will 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 try with a plus one here. Yeah, but still, let's see. Let's see. That is a five. Ooh, um, I'm going to say, oh gosh, I kind of want to escalate the situation even further. Um, okay, this is what happens. So the, the woman with the eye patch, with the scar, as she's running away from the scene, she slams into Alma, right? And the both of them like crash down uh, onto the dirt. And you see the strange woman get up and she has a gun trained on the both of you. And you can see that she's desperate, like a, like a cornered animal. What do you do? Well, this is this has actually made me uh, a, a a little bit angry, uh, 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 and I think it's it's appropriate that uh, I take the one that allows me to 
to strike out better, but to not oh, see yeah. things. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and and I think I will I will desperately uh, attempt to to knock the 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 gun out of her hand because um, I'm a gentleman. I wouldn't actually strike her in these shows, but uh, I will yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll try and wrestle that away from her. Right, right. Uh, even though like it's probably, one of those moments where like both of you are like yeah. swinging back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> Much tougher than I am, but let me, let me, uh, so now I think I'm the center of attention. Oh yes, for um, sure. Plus one for strike out. Um, and then the questions on strike out are, uh, I don't think I've caught them off guard, but they have wronged me. Yeah, absolutely. So. Oh, that is a what five. <gasps> plus three. Oh, oh no. Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, I think that also deserves a condition. Wow, I hope we're going to see someone melt down today. <laughs> like, yes. at this rate that they're going. <laughs> uh, which one is it? Ooh, okay, okay. That makes sense. So you mark zealous. Um, ooh, you know what I want to say? I say what happens is you're unable to wrest the gun from her. She pushes you down onto the ground. My question for you is how do you fall in love with her in this moment? Oh. Uh, I, I think that I haven't seen her yet. This has been in the sort of dark and things. And I think that that we do see that light catcher, her hair flashes back uh, uh, there. And uh, uh, I think well, we have a flashback to, to a fling from like like a year ago, there's a, a flash of us like running on the beach and and so on and and the 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 the, the moment at the end where I'm like you know stay with me stay with me and uh, she's like no I cannot and you know we see the black swan tattoo and we know that that's why she left and she says was, I have to make sure that you won't get hurt yeah, I have to and, protect uh, you I I I I, uh, uh, I I I I look at her and and. Uh, I said, Katharina. Uh, and she she stops for a moment and you see her eyes become clear. And she looks at you, Alejandro, what, it can't be you. They promised me that you wouldn't be here, that you wouldn't get hurt. You, 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 you what? And I, I, we must get you out of here. And and almost in the back of my mind is I will help <laughs> rush her away from uh, here. Yes, yes. And the two of you escape together. Yeah. Poor the, the Alma. Camera has to linger on Alma's tears, though. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And she's like gripping onto the to the rabbit mask that you left behind. She's like, "This is a telenovela, right?" So she's like yes. gripping it to her chest, and she's like, "Oh no." <laughs> What happened? I don't understand. Uh, and she uh, she rushes off as well in the opposite direction to try to get help. Uh, so I would say, yeah, I love how this turned out. I love Mrs. <laughs> so good. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, and ooh, should we continue this? Okay, let's let's switch over to someone else. I'm so excited to see what happens with. Um, Katarina, is that right? But yeah, so for now, let's switch to, I want to see what's going on with our employee, with poor Hector, who was way in over their head, and then we'll like switch over to our twins after that. Unless you want to be in a scene together, like maybe, maybe Hector is trying to like fix everything and reveals themselves to Esteban. But what do you guys think? I mean, I'm sure that Enrique might seek out Hector at some point, but it doesn't need to be right now. Okay, okay. I I think so. Uh, with my thug, thugs opening fire, is there any chance that he uh, Hector's mask has come, come loose and uh, come off so I can actually see that he's there or... Yeah, Hector, what do you think? Uh yeah, that that's that makes sense. So, uh I think there's a uh, the camera shifts slightly and it uh, flashes back slightly. So, uh while everything's going on, the uh 
the whole thing with the person holding the gun yeah, to Hector, Hector drawing the knife. I see it going on, they're fighting, the mask gets knocked off during the fight. And this this person, because you botched the role, the person was going to shoot you. And I at that point, when I see Hector, I actually explicitly direct one of my thugs to actually fire, yeah, fire down and shoot the guy standing Wait. over you. I thought the sniper oh. shot the guy. Oh, you sorry. You know, right. you're quite you're quite right. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry. Brain's not working. Uh. Yeah, it was the. Don't worry, it's a tunnel development. Yeah. There's a lot going on. It was the Secret mm. Service dude who turned yeah. out to be the brother of Hector. Yeah. Oh, so uh, <laughs> I, I I see Hector get up and I, I I move over to him. My boy, are you okay? And I offer my hand down to help him up. Um, yeah, and no, I will. Um, I'll take it and and get up and say, ah, "Yes, Commodore, I am, I am fine." But um, and you know, he's, he's obviously going to glance glance towards like the stage and say, "But your mother is she?" My mother. Oh, good heavens! Good God, my mother! And uh, we must see to her quick. And I, I will. I'll come over, but I'm going to make sure that Hector's coming with me. Yeah, and and I think you know Hector's like grabbed a, a you know like a towel off of the collapsed um, uh, carving station, um, and is is going to yeah run over to um, to where where um, uh, um, Eleonore is, and I think you know he's he's going to be sort of doing the like holding holding this towel over over the wound in a vain effort to like hold in the blood because that's how medicine works. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh -huh. Mama, Mama, what have they done to you? Oh, these brutes, these savages. They're still here. Men, my men, find those who have done this. Find all those who bear that tattoo. And bring justice to them. We cannot let them get away. Oh, oh Mama. Mama, speak to me. Oh. 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 And he. And he can he'll, he'll, oh, go on, go on. He'll drop to his knees. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll, um, he'll, start, he'll start. Tears come to his eyes, and his hand will go to uh, Hector's shoulder, and he'll squeeze it and she is gone you cannot do anything more child I am so sorry Commodore your mother was a fine woman and um, your loss it, it is a terrible one that these that these animals would have done this to her um my child um such a sweet child thank you her loss she is irreplaceable i have so little left in this world now and i'll, I'll turn and i'll turn and look to him i i have I have lost one of the few things left that is precious to me. Um, and I think that um, at, at that um, Hector will pull um, uh, will pull the Commodore into a sort of um, more a comforting embrace than a than a romantic one. But uh... Ooh. and yes, I, I think the Commodore will actually uh, squeeze a lot harder. Ooh, and it is it is expressing his uh love passionately his love passionately at this point oh yes okay okay so um hmm, do you feel like this falls under you taking control of the situation or uh i don't i don't think so if i'm totally honest uh mm -hmm. i think this is me trying to capitalize on it but i don't think i'm in control at this point right right makes sense so and the other questions are are you dressed to impress Oh, very much so. I've still got the I've still got this elaborate, beautiful porcelain uh, uh, Poseidon mask on. I'm in my lab. I'm in my na white naval uniform now, splashed red. Oh yeah. 
And do they believe you're single or available? Oh, I'm. Yeah, well, I can't answer that. That's that's for David to answer. Again, I've I've not heard any any evidence to the contrary yet. Uh, I don't think we've had a um, a partner established. So yeah, I, I think mm -hmm. that's. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so that's rolling with a plus two. Uh, so that'll be an eleven. Wow. Okay. So. On a hit, your target gives them gives themselves to you or reveals a secret they probably shouldn't. On a 10 plus, they also tell you whether they love you or not and who else they love. Okay, so I'm gonna give <laughs> uh, Victor a moment to like decide. Uh -huh. with, with regards to give themselves to me, will you stay with me, child? I am not fit for others to see at this point. Um, can I have a quick uh, um, question? Can you please start with the child and oh, in the sexual sorry. content? I feel okay. that it's really weird. Okay, Perfect. sorry. It's just, it's just the age difference, and yeah. Mm -hmm. would, would you would you stay with me? I am not fit for others to see right now. Um, and I'll, um, I think um, I'll 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 kind of um, you know. Sort of return hug and say, "Of course, of course, Commodore." Um, and then uh, there's um, that moment of hesitation in his voice, um, and he uh, he says, "Commodore, there, there is, there is something I should I should tell you." Please, please, Enrique. We know each other well enough that we should not be so formal. I, I saw. I saw my brother Paolo here. I I do not know what he was doing here, but he was armed, and 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 he he took out the man that was, um, uh, that that came for me. Paolo. Yes, my 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 brother who. Um, who joined the Secret Service. I'm sure he only meant the best. He was here to protect us. They must have got wind of this scheme, this plot. I'm sure he is safe. But there's that, there's that moment where... Uh, there's that distant moment where... Commodore's face, it zooms in on the eye behind the mask, and there's mm -hmm. this really, really the eyes narrow at the sound of the name. And um, yes, I think I, I think I'm actually trying to disguise the fact that I don't know who his brother is at this point. Oh, so I, I think I, I think I'm trying to mislead and lie. Yeah, thanks for that speaking. Perfect, perfect. So uh So that's a six. That's an eight on the roll. But uh, I haven't looked at the questions. Uh, is there pressure for them to act the right? Is there pressure for me to act the right way? I think there is pressure for me not to actually know. Uh, for me to pretend that I don't know this person. So I, I think. Oh, but I think it's more oh, for the right way. So yes, yeah, sorry, no, I don't get. I don't think I get that one. Oh, but I'm I think it's for Hector, I think, to answer. Like, is there pressure for him to act Oh, okay. Right? Sorry, I misunderstood. No problem, no problem. That's a good thing to note also. I'll write that here also. Oh, they make the roll, not me. Is that right? Or... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, Let's they don't see. make the roll. You make the roll, but yeah, they yeah. Uh, uh, have the pressure on them to act uh, the right way, okay. like the yeah. way you want them to, because you're misleading right. them to re to to get them to do something. Okay, so I I, I, I can't answer that. Then is it, uh, David? Is there pressure on you to act the right way and actually not acknowledge the fact that I that there's that brief hesitation as I as I. I, I seem to know that something's going on here i think um i think i'm going to interpret that generously and say that yeah i think because i'm expecting you to be you know your 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 mother's just been shot so i'm not expecting you to be like yeah uh, you know on yeah. on um 
Oh gosh. Yeah. I agree. Um, I agree. It's like that was a wonderful performance of uh, of grief. So. <laughs> um, and likewise, I don't think I have. Um, I don't think. I, I do think that you have been honest with me. Um, okay. So far. Uh, in which case, I get a ten. Yeah. Oh gosh. So, uh, on a ten plus, you either get both benefits or you confuse them for some time, right? Because like the the idea is that eventually they'll remember unless you. I I think the. I I think I say to him if they are are here, they must be for good reason. We cannot expose them. They must be on a mission to catch these these savages. We cannot let others know that they, they are here. Of, of course, Commodore. Enrique. And I, I'll... Mr. Band, sorry. Um, I'll hold his hand and... Him. Thank you. Thank you for this. That is quite all right. Anything I can do for you, Esteban. Um... Also, just uh, with with regard my suitor move, because this one's a little bit complicated, because you initiated a um, uh, romantic, well, romantic or, or emotional intimacy with me, you get to clear one of your conditions. Um, oh. And also because you were not currently my love, you are now my love and Enrique isn't. Oh, I have had a suitor <laughs> around. <laughs> <laughs> The heart is a strange and beautiful thing. Uh, okay. So I love this scene. I kind of want to, do you feel uh, that this would be a time that we find out, like do we go to a flashback of why uh, Esteban wanted his mother dead or are we going to save that for later? Well, we can do that now if you want. We've yeah. got, I think we've got 40 minutes left in the session. So, Better front load it, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, we're until think, what time are we? To, oh, to, but we play until uh, one I, or we're playing four hours. Oh, so. sorry, I thought it was a three hour game. <laughs> I no. jumped into this at the last oh, minute. But are you, are you so. good for four hours, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, fi I'm fine for four hours. So that, that's even better. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'll still front load it. Uh, I think there's a, I think I get there's a flashback to me being you know, called forth to the president. And uh, he's asking me to run again for governor. Well, sorry, he's asking me to stand with him. I failed it for being governor, but he wants me to stand as his vice president in the upcoming elections. Oh, uh -huh. But I, I will need, I will need to add money to the campaign, and I have no money myself. Oh. So this goes, this goes back to Sabine's question earlier: Who will inherit? Oh, but then if we find out that the brother is still here, that will definitely get in the way of some plans. Okay. Oh, I love this so much. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. But now we see that uh, that Esteban and Hector have grown closer to each other. And I think this is a good moment to like cut back. So we saw the flashback of what happened and and why uh, Esteban needs the money. I think this is a good time to get to Enrique, who is still reeling from everything that's happening. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, he got his mother killed, and uh, Hector is with his brother, of course, and he has to make up with his brother, and he doesn't know what to do now, and I think he will... Um, I don't know what he will do. He will... Maybe he will stumble across Alejandro, yeah, I think this is like a good time to smash. Yeah, because this, this seems, this seems uh, kind of appropriate. And he has taken off his mask, so maybe Alejandro will think he is uh, actually Esteban. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we see... Uh -huh. I, I like the idea that, that you've you've run to the beach and uh, I've kind of stepped out from my, my, my beach house having hidden Katarina there after uh, a oh. few moments of, of passionate intimacy. Uh, that is off screen, and I, I step out. <laughs> and like white curtains and stuff like, like that, you know. Uh -huh. uh, I, I, I will, I will make sure the coast is clear, and I will see so we can can get you to to safety. You just wait here. 
And then I step out and uh, uh, com Commodoro. Oh, uh, oh, uh, hi, uh, uh, Alejandro. Yes, yes. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, were you were you looking for me? Is everything? My my mother, she's she's dead. I I I I think it was my fault. I think I kind of I I got her killed. She died. No, no, it, you did not do it. It was that that uh, uh, man who uh, uh, seized the gun uh, from. Uh, 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 the 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 attacker it was he clearly misfired. I would not blame yourself. It is uh, I am responsible. I bear responsibility at this point. I cannot. I what am I going to do? I cannot. I don't know. I have to have to figure out stuff. You, Commodoro, look, look. We've had our differences in the past, but but uh, the, you pull yourself together. I, I have to, I, I have to tell someone, I am, I am, I am not who you think I am. What, 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 what do you mean? It is complicated. It is so complicated. It is just, it is all a mess. Have you ever felt that life is just such a mess? Every decision you ever made, the like like going for a boating trip in the storm and then things escalate and then you think, no, I have to run away and, and enjoy the world and just find love wherever I can and just be myself. And then you realize, ah, you still have responsibilities and then you go back and then everything comes crashing down. You are not the Commodore. I am not the Commodore. I am, my name is Enrique. Hey, hey, but, but you're dead. Everyone says that you were dead. I'm not dead. That will be uh, quite, quite obviously. I, I just, I don't even know where that rumor came from, actually. I mean, the boat went down, okay, but I, I made it to an island. So I mean, my boat goes down quite often, actually. I I don't know why people all thought I was dead. I didn't even know that. I wrote postcards to my mother. I, I, I wonder what became of them. But okay, postal service being what it, it is. It is certainly your brother who has consistently said that you were dead, that he saw you drown. He, what? He wasn't even there. Oh, that is not the story that I have heard. Ah. Uh, Hmm. Okay. Just, I uh, he said he had he, he he. I don't know if he had witnesses or people that he knew that did. I but but uh, certainly he is always grieved over your your passing. I did not know that he was doing that. My mother's last words told me to make up with him, and I will have to. But I don't know how to go about that. I mean, he he probably blames me for our mother's death, and and he's not a forgiving. He's not a forgiving man. Esteban is not. But I guess I'll have to have to try. And I kind of look back and I say, "Well, you'll have to, you'll have to find some place to to lay low." I have my boat. That 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 yeah, that your boat. Yes, not here. Your boat is a good place for you to <laughs> to, to lay low. You should go there. Right, right. Do you want to make sure that he uh, doesn't notice what's going on in the cabana? Yeah, I think I'm trying to to keep keep any evidence of uh, uh, my my dalliance here. Um, so uh, I will take center of attention, but uh, I don't think there's any pressure for mm -hmm. uh, Esteban, uh, sorry, uh, Enrique, mm -hmm. to uh, 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 believe me. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I don't know if uh, Enrique thinks I'm being honest with them or not, given the I, deceptions that have been going on. I don't think he has a reason to believe that you're not. I mean, he just poured out his heart to you, so he probably believes you're kind of a, an honest fellow. Ah, finally, a good oh. role. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice. Wow. Uh-huh. What did uh, he get? 
I got uh, an 11. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice. Very good. Very good. Okay. You so, should go uh, to your boat. Uh-huh. And I will uh, I will, 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 will make sure that no one knows that you went there. Everything will be fine. <sighs> Thank you, Alejandro. You're a true ally. And I reach out to shake your hand. And you th- that stupid sleeve, you can st- uh, still uh, push back. And you can still see the tattoo. <laughs> Ooh, I, I start, but I pretend that I didn't notice. I like look away. I think uh, Enrique is kind of in a weird place, and he doesn't notice a lot, really, because he's internally uh, trying yeah. to process that he just yeah. got his mom killed, and and that yeah, well, everything that he has now to make peace with the brother who is not large into peace, he's not usually into making peace. I will. I will. I will send uh, send Enrique off. I have much to think about. Okay, and then, so I assume that you're choosing. You confuse them for some time. Yes. Yeah, just so that you know. Um, yeah, you, you, so you learned a secret, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Enrique doesn't realize soon after that something was amiss. Exactly. Yeah. So at this moment, I would say that uh, Katharina. Like once she senses that the coast is clear, uh, she's hanging by the doorway, as beautiful as ever, of course, in the way that a, in the way that a panther is beautiful before they strike. And she looks at you, and she says, "Interesting, a twin brother. I may be able to salvage this situation." And you, Alejandro, will help me. Yes, yes, I will. Ooh. Uh, She leans over and she kisses you on the cheek. And she says, there was a reason why destiny brought us back together, my love. I, I feel like at this moment... Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Yes. Um, I have to. I have to see if if uh, Hector happens to be overhearing this conversation. Yeah, um, he's at the castle, right? Yeah, indeed. Um, it really is a powerful move. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, my my general question is: Are you in over your head? Which I, I think so. I think all this oh, scheming yeah. is 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 a bit uh, a bit beyond Hector, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, gone to the wrong tab. Uh, my other questions for this are: Do you work here? Which yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, though I would I would argue that in the current circumstance, I am not dressed to blend in. He's in right. like a formal suit or something, stood on a beach. So mm-hmm. it's it's. Mm-hmm. Um, um, so that's a plus two in total. Yeah. Um, Oh, this is Ooh, so this, that's an eleven. So oh, um, nice. Um, so I'm just going to read it out. Uh, Ten plus, you got away without being spotted, or ask the conspirators a follow up question. Your choice. Uh, I've I've got to ask a follow up question. I think, um, mm-hmm. which uh, which is going to be um, uh, what what I, I'd like to uh, I'd like to know a little bit more about what Katarina is planning. Oh yeah, of course. So she'll of course continue to talk. Like so, the so we see that you're there, perhaps by by the window on the other side or somewhere nearby. Um, and Katharina will actually say outright um, that. Hmm. Yeah, she would. She would outright say that. Uh, that her plan is to make sure that Esteban pays for what he's done to the black swans and that she is certain that someone else uh, killed the matriarch because they were given strict orders to not hurt her. So it had to be someone else. Excellent, cool. And yeah, I think the um, I think actually maybe as I'm uh, um, as I'm escaping, I think that um, 
because you know i think he's like obviously startled by this 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 revelation and flees the scene and i think he's just been carrying his mask where obviously the strap broke on it earlier and i think he drops the mask uh, outside the cabana Ooh. as he leaves Ooh, perfect perfect and it's like there by the sand uh-huh I, I like the idea that that when i do go out i see the mask and maybe put two and two together and i I grab it up to to hide it so Katarina doesn't see it. But I know that there's a potential problem there that might come between me and my love. Ooh. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Where are we going next? Oh, there's so many good scenes. Um I would think we're going to. <laughs> I feel like we're going to move the camera. There's a there's a small boat that uh, docks at a part of the resort that most people don't go to, and it's a close up on these feet coming down onto this pier. The pier looks like it hasn't seen much use. It's really falling apart. It's rotting in some places, and then someone walks across the pier very slowly. And as they move around, we see that it's a, it's actually our twin's father, and he has the ring on his finger. And he says, I must make this right. I simply cannot allow this to stand. Oh, my love, Eleonora, I was too late to save you, but I'll make sure that they pay for what they've done. <laughs> okay, and uh, hmm, who do we want to go to next? There's so much juiciness. I kind of, I kind of want to see what um, happens to poor Alma. Uh -huh. I haven't, I have an idea though. Sure, sure. Go ahead, go ahead. Maybe I brought him. Oh yeah. I mean, okay. maybe that's that's actually our boat, the boat that I was just yeah. going through, and that's uh, you can you can maybe see that Enrique is on the boat and looking dejected and then Papa is walking off but he needs a name though oh yeah yeah yes let's give Papa a name I'm pulling up my it name. has to start with an E I think Elicio oh, yeah. Elicio okay that's right we've had this whole E thing going on Elicio okay I have it down uh so yeah so alicia turns to look at you um do you tell him exactly what happened like did you tell him you think it's your fault or yes i think i will have confessed to him that i think that this happened this is my fault that that well not that mm -hmm. the attack happened that's not my fault i didn't i wasn't in on that but but when i grabbed the gun and i pushed it away but the the shot rang off and I think it ricocheted and, and something hit mother. So it must have been that. Did you also tell Alicia that uh, what your mother asked for you before? Yes. She oh, yes. Okay. So your father looks at you and he says, no, no, no. My child, I promise you, this was not your fault. I, I should have been there. I should have, I shouldn't have been a coward. I was too much of a coward to come back to your mother. I wasn't worthy of her. I was holding her back I that I should understand. have done something. I understand that you didn't want to go and party crash her 80th birthday. I mean, that was, I think that was the good decision. That was the right but, decision. But what if I had been there? Then would she still have died? Then maybe you would have died as well. Oh, better me than her. What did you say? I cannot say. I can, you can't ask me that question. I I don't know. I I'm so sorry. I botched this up. I thought I could I could just do the right thing here and bring the family back together. And now look at look at what happened. I am such a fool. I should have just gone up to her and said, "Hey, it's me." And that that. But no, I had to play the twin game. Which was foolish, but oh, but it's not too late. It's not too late. Your mother is in heaven, looking down at us right now. I can feel her presence, and she would want you to do the right thing. We must seek out your brother. We must seek out Esteban and bring this family together again. I'm sure he'll be so happy to see us. 
after all this time. Yes, I think you're right, Father. I will go and speak to him. Yes, I will I will come with you as well. Uh, Father, I would please stay on the boat. I think, uh, I mean, he lives a stressful life and he could easily have a heart attack. <laughs> uh, so let's see. I would say that you have to demand what you deserve because like he's feeling so much guilt. Um, I mean, but really this guy is like 80 plus, right? Uh, but he's, he's, he's not as strong as he used to be, but he feels right. a lot of guilt. <clears throat> yeah. Well, he had amnesia for the first part of yeah. that he got lost. But am I taking advantage of my twin's reputation a little? I mean, that he's under stress. That is my argument mm. why he shouldn't go. Mm. Okay, okay. Makes sense. And uh, let me look at the other questions. Sure. Are so you the offering first one is, are you offering something of value? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that I will make the whole thing smoother, smoother. Ugh. Mm. And do they love you at, in this moment? I believe, I hope, I hope so. Absolutely. So maybe I'm not offering something of value, but they love me and I'm taking advantage of my twin's reputation. Also, I've got plus one because I'm righteous right now. Oh, very good. But very I rolled good. a three, but I rolled a three. So <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> so first, uh, please mark a condition. Let's uh -huh. see. I'll say, I'll say, um, <laughs> I think I might be defensive or driven, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I would say, do you feel like it's fair if I say you'll have to mark two conditions just to make sure he stays on the boat or okay. yeah, that's one cool. condition, just so that's that you can really have to talk him through it? Yeah, and it's that's, that's fair. Yeah, that's okay. fair. I'll do that. Right. Cool. So he he argues with you for a while, and then finally, he says, "All right, all right, Enrique, my son. I don't want you to think I don't trust you. I do trust you. I will stay here. I'll stay out of sight until I get the signal from you." Yes. I love you, Papa. You know that. And I hug him. I love you too. And then he he holds you close. Uh, and um, he says, if you need, perhaps if you need proof, and then he gives you the ring. Okay, cool, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then so uh, I think what is, what is Hector going to do with this information? Yeah, I was just just thinking about that. Um, I think um, I'm I'm wondering. I I was I was thinking. I think what he's going to do is um, because I think that the um, the these revelations, you know, are, are making him. Uh, a little um suspicious of um uh, of esteban now so i think he's maybe going to be like rifling through like the the drawers in his office or something um to see if he can find any incriminating oh. information oh my gosh okay perfect perfect so um yeah i i really like how the employees encourage you to just go in <laughs> like over their head for sure so let's see so you're trying to get information i think this is probably um shoot where's that move that i'm looking for do, 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 do. i think it would still fall under spot something out of place because you're looking at someone's personal space does that make sense is that does that fall uh yeah no that 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 makes sense i was thinking either that or act with desperation because it's just kind of it's it's a sort of risky thing but no i think you're right i think spot something out of place is um mm -hmm. is a good um a good call yeah um, so definitely in over your head in fact i'll say like uh you barely managed to get your way in you were waiting for the thugs to walk away and leave the place open and unguarded um and you have been intimate. Yeah. 
with him recently and are you free of other distractions i i don't know when anyone is ever going to be answer, able to answer yes to that in this game <laughs> uh, no i don't think i am because <laughs> you're worried about being like them walking in at yeah any moment like you can sort of hear the muffled voices from afar and you're kind of paranoid if it's getting closer or not okay but you're rolling with a plus two That's a seven. Just. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, 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 just about. Um, oh, they also ask you one question. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, I tell a lie. Sorry, that's a six. Yeah. <gasps> oh, gosh. No, okay. oh, it is gosh. a seven because. Okay. Oh, actually, no. Mm. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, going back and forth. Yeah, because I was thinking, because currently, um, yeah, this, yeah. Uh, currently, Esteban is my love, but I don't think this action is going towards. Um, making the relationship stronger so i don't think it applies sorry uh, I, I was uh i was, I was in my head i was playing monster hats uh, last night so i was still in the oh no problem. Mortal getting plus one to, to anything any roles uh so oh, yeah oh yeah 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 no yeah. oh, i'm also having that great problem where i'm playing so many games in a week that i have to keep trying to yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so but we're at a six is that right oh, we, are, we are on a six yep okay um oof. oh gosh <laughs> This is the worst time to get a six. Uh, well, not the worst time. You guys have been through a lot tonight, actually. That <laughs> um, so can I, I make would say... A... Oh, yeah, go Sorry. ahead. I, I, can I make a suggestion? Mm -hmm. I, uh, Hector's going through the drawers, and he can hear two people walking towards the actual office itself. Uh -huh. uh, does, doesn't get a chance to go through all the drawers as Alma and Esteban are walking towards the office talking. Yeah, absolutely. And then so as as they walk in, I also just want to say that Hector will mark a condition. Do you feel like maybe hopeless? I mean, cornered is about appropriate, but yeah, I, I was going to say if if I hadn't already marked cornered, it probably would have been that. <laughs> but, but hopeless and cornered seems right. seems a fair uh, um, seems a fair assessment. And I think. Um, um, uh, Hector is going to kind of quick, like hurriedly close the right. um, uh, close the drawer up, and I think he's um, uh, going to hide maybe out on the balcony nearby. Yeah, no, that's yeah. I was I was thinking, is he going to try and like pass himself off as as like being in there for a reason? But no, I think yeah, we'll we'll see him kind of doing the the, the back against the wall on the balcony outside thing. Oh yeah, 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 and it's like it's kind of like the camera makes it look really dangerous. Uh, <laughs> Whipping your hair and stuff. Okay, so Alma walks in. How are you feeling? How are you feeling, Alma? Uh, tonight yeah. has been uh, tonight has been so so sorrowful. How are you yeah. feeling about this? How are you how are you handling this? Is there anything I can do to help? And you can see Alma's like wringing her fingers. Right, it's a telenovela, so the the gestures are like huge and stuff. Um, and she's like pulling her her hair back and she looks like she's been crying like crying uh, quite a lot um and her dress is her beautiful dress is like torn in some places it's covered in sand in others and her large eyes are just so sorrowful and she says oh oh uncle i'm so i can't believe what happened i just and then she she rushes over to hug you how are we going to i can't but you can also tell that she wants to tell you something. Child, tonight is a tragedy. I do not expect you to... You do not need to wear a mask around me. We are family. There is so much I wanted to tell you. So much... Your grandmother and I wanted to speak to you about. And now we will never get the chance. We would, there are still things your grandmother wanted of you. I will be standing for office again soon. It was your grandmother's deepest wish that you stand by my side. 
put aside your politics. Stand with your family. Come join us. Join my campaign. Ooh. We can do so much good with the world. And you see her her face, like, because uh, you've had so many arguments in the past. Uh, you've really struggled to see eye to eye. Are you demanding what you deserve? Yes. And uh, I'm putting the emotional thing of, it's what your grandmother would have wanted. Yes, of course, of course. So I'm, I'm basically asking her to leave her political party and join mine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, I feel like you are, yeah, it feels like you're trying to take control in the situation because you're trying to garner her support for sure. Um, I'll even argue that the value that you're giving her is peace of mind uh, of, of trying to make things right. Uh, and she does love you because she doesn't know <laughs> anything except she you doesn't know what, what the villain i am <laughs> so you're rolling with a plus three i think uh Thanks. yeah yeah so so that would be a 15 oh <gasps> wow oh this poor alba <laughs> i feel so bad for her okay so um she cannot catch a break um they remove uh, remove one of the options. Okay, so uh, sorry, I'm going through multiple screens. This is a new oh, laptop, no, okay. and yeah, yeah, that's why. Uh, that's why they can choose either to remove. They concede to you. They can clear a condition. They refuse and escalate. They mark a condition, or they run away. You take something from them. I think I'm going to uh, remove. They refuse and escalate. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I'll say poor Alma. She's so, after everything she's been through, um, like honestly, she's moved by guilt because she saw what happened between Katharina and Alejandro, but her love for Alejandro is keeping her from saying anything. Uh, so out of that guilt, she's going to concede. And uh, she'll say, yes, yes, uncle, you're right. We, we have to set aside... These things, it's what it's what grandma would have wanted. I'm sure we can find a way to to compromise. Promise that you'll listen to me. Promise that you'll keep me. I will always listen to your advice. I may not act upon it, but I will always listen. <laughs> and so she she nods uh, tearfully and she says, "Yes, yes, I'll 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 make the necessary." arrangements I'll, I'll make the calls and and talk to some people thank you you mean the world to me we uh, we, uh, we are family we must stay together at this this horrific time only by standing together as family can we get through this Ooh, is this a time for the twin to Walk in after Alma leaves with the future family, or do we want to wait until later? Or I don't mind walking in. Yeah, for... um, <laughs> uh huh. So, like okay. Alma will we'll, we'll allow Alma to to leave first. She walks away, her high heels click clacking against the floor. She moves quickly. She whips out her cell phone and you can already hear her starting to make the calls and the camera moves and we see. Uh, I have a suggestion, maybe before Ooh. I walk in, um, Esteban will notice the picture of our father because I would like to know what his reaction to that is. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So your eyes travel and you see the picture. He stops. Uh, he, he's smiling to himself. He's fully confident of what's actually happened and he stops and he he looks around and he sighs almost happily and then his eyes catch on the picture he tilts his head and he steps over and picks it up and looks at it and uh, I'm just checking something one moment Sure, no problem. <clears throat> I... <clears throat> this isn't right. 
this is where does this come from? Where is my father's picture? And I think I, at that at that point, I I'm going to knock. Or do you want to uh, soliloquize? Uh, yeah, I was going to actually process my thoughts out loud. Yeah, oh. process, process away. Sorry, I, I was just that's why I was just looking up the road, uh, looking, sure. up the road looking up the move. Sorry. No. Uh, no <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. So let's yeah. see. I will play the part of the audience. Go ahead. Go ahead. So this this is my father, but he's so much older. Can it be? Can my father be alive? And this is sure. Is he here? He would stop me inheriting. This is terrible. I must do something. Ooh. Okay, so... Oh gosh, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if the audience is rooting for you, though. <laughs> oh no, no, no! I'm the villain. I am very much the villain here. <laughs> I, I am. In I am entirely the villain here. <laughs> like I see like, with this this close up of everybody going, "No, that's right. You're gonna. You're not gonna get away with this." Like the abuelitas. Like I'm thinking to God, like, that's how carried away I am with this. Like, <laughs> but uh, so you have a plus zero moving forward out oh, for the roll. Okay. Yeah, but you know, you might grow high. So let's see. I, I kind of hope I don't. <laughs> uh, that's a seven. Ooh, okay, okay. So uh, on a hit, choose one, and then take plus one on going while following up with this information. Which one would you like? Uh, Ooh. Sorry, I'm just... Uh, oh, sure, no problem. Down. Yeah, so we have the options of the audience reveals a crucial event going on outside of you, or the audience tells you how you might find love with a partner of their choosing. And finally, the audience tells you how to get blank to blank. Okay, uh, I think the audience is going to reveal a crucial event going on outside my view. Yes, exactly, because I was thinking of Alejandro uh, with Katharina at this moment. Uh, and you can see like Katharina, she, so she's, she's brought you over to this huge black unmarked van, right? And then she opens up the side and it's just filled with guns. And she looks at you and she says, my warrior, you'll stand by my side, won't you? But she's my only weakness, and, <laughs> and and I I think I will reluctantly take up a gun like like it is an alien object like like hmm. I I can't even imagine how to use it kind of thing. Uh so you you pick up a gun, but she grabs it from your hand. She goes, "No, bigger," and she gets another gun. Uh, but she leans in for a passionate kiss while she does so. Um, and she says, I know you're going to do the right thing. I've managed to scramble what I could amongst the survivors. We're going to move against this Theban and we're going to make him pay for what he did. And you and I, we can live the life we've always meant to, my love, free. We, 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 could, we could just... We don't. We don't have to, to 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 kill anyone. We could just. We could just go now. But they'll chase after us. You don't understand what kind of man Esteban is. He will hunt us to the ends of the earth, and he will have me killed. <laughs> All right, if we must. Oh, Alejandro, <laughs> you are as brave as you are beautiful, my love. That's pretty brave. Uh, so I <laughs> just had to put that in there. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what uh, that's what the audience reveals that shortly after this happens, other cars come up uh, and more men and women jump down uh, and they start formulating their plan. Brilliant. Do I actually know that then in the narrative or not? 
Yeah, so this is such a cute meta move because technically you have a plus one to act on it. So even though your character doesn't know, the player knows. Is that how? Is am I reading the move right? Yeah, I usually do it that the the character doesn't necessarily know, but the player can can act on that without any problem. And, right. That uh, is such a cool. I like that. Like it really skims that meta line in a really interesting yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. Also, uh, d given I was processing my thoughts out loud, mm -hmm, does mm -hmm. Hector hear that? Yeah, I was gonna say yes. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking maybe after. Um... After ah. um, uh, Enrique yeah, enters the scene, um, I might then roll. I, I feel by that point it's been long enough that the audience has probably forgotten I'm still out on the balcony, so I might, yeah. might make my move yeah. then. But I think I was going to wait till yeah, till yeah. I was going to let Enrique and Aspen get into yeah, it yeah. first. Yeah, and then we'll we'll get to you next to see if uh, you managed to get away without them knowing you were there. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Gosh, I love this game so much. <laughs> okay, so this is exactly when our long lost twin knocks on the door completely like, um, in fact, I'd say that the knock kind of happens at the same time that the men and women are cheering, right? Like it sort of cuts in into that moment. Uh, in fact, I, I, I sort of see these mercenaries cheering on as Alejandro and Katerina like really get into it passionately like this weird telenovela moment while everyone's cheering on people. Oh, or maybe, or maybe, um, <laughs> maybe Enrique doesn't knock, but just like pushes the door open. So we're like, Ooh. is it the, is it the gorillas? You know. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Excellent, excellent. All right, and then so what happens? Yeah, well, the doors get pushed open, and Enrique walks in. He doesn't wear a mask, or does he? No, he doesn't. I don't think he does. And, and he says, uh, hello, Esteban. I'm still alive. What strange ghost is this? It is a night for ghosts, it seems. I'm not a ghost, Esteban. I I, I only recently learned that you thought I drowned. I didn't. I uh, was a bit unlikely, but I survived. And I'll hold up the picture. Was this your doing? Yes. Mm. I wanted you to know that I it was my our father he did not die actually in the accident. So you have come to tell me of his death as well now, after no. so many years away from us. No, he isn't dead. He's alive. Yes. So am I. That is wonderful news, and he will move over, and uh, and we'll hug you. Oh uh, brother, oh brother, I've missed you so much. Why have you kept away from us? And at this point, I'm trying to deceive as well. Oh yeah, I was about to ask. Yes, yes, yeah. <clears throat> so go I, ahead, go ahead. Uh -huh. I don't believe that you are honest because I can't imagine you being that forgiving. Uh, am I, but I be, fe sorry, go but on. I, fe I feel a lot of pressure to do the right thing here, which is to uh, lean into this. Uh, because oh, that yeah. was our mother's yeah. last wish. We're going to have like a brief flashback of her like holding on to your hand and the hand dropping to the ground. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Let's play it so, on thing. so the question is, am I in control here? Do you feel like you are in control? No, I, I, f I feel like I'm very much out of control because I did not know you were alive. And because of that, I only get a nine rather than a ten. Ooh, but still, it's still nice. Yeah, so so on a on a hit there, fool, for a moment, you learn a valuable secret or create an opportunity. Oh, oh, Enrique, have you heard? Our mother, our mother has been killed. I am so sorry. Foul, foul rebels, and pirates, it, it, even. It was my it was, fault. I was trying. Uh, I tried to save her, but oh, you but, can, you you could not have done anything. You were not there. I was there. I was the. I was the one who uh, who tried to get the the guy with the gun, the pirate with the gun. Oh wait, I say his name right. I was the one who who tried to get 
Paul. Pablo? No, Paul was the. Paul. Paul. Yeah, pa Pablo. Then we. I, I don't Pablo know. Was the, Pablo names. was the sniper. Pablo was okay. the sniper. So that's mm. confusing. Uh, uh, Ricardo. Ricardo oh, away yeah. from her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was the one who tried to get Ricardo away from her, and 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 then he shot, and and the bullet must have ricocheted and and killed her. It's my fault. If I hadn't done anything, he wouldn't have killed her. He isn't. I don't. I think he was aiming for me, actually. <laughs> I I'm so sorry. Years years ago we asked you I asked you to join the military with me. If you, you, did not if, you ask if you had you you would you would have had the training to deal with this. You did but not I, ask you, As you, are, you did not ask, you demanded. But you are a civilian. You could not have you could not have been prepared for this. I kind but of I... was. I kind of was. I joined the revolutionaries for a bit. So I left again, but. You have no idea how much this pains me. How could you? How could you stand with them against our people? Was against our people, Esteban. We stood for our people. They br they sought to bring chaos to this world. Well, chaos was needed. Our people are oppressed. Um, and there I, is oops, sorry, go on, Dave. Yeah. Oh no, I was going to say. I think this might be the point where we kind of cut back to a shot of um, um, uh, Hector outside on the balcony. <laughs> uh, Right, as things start to escalate. Yeah. <laughs> things start to get more heated because this would be the perfect time for you to get away or to get discovered. So uh, I think you are way in over your head. I am way in over my head. Again, I do, I am still in the place that I work, even if this isn't exactly, uh, you know, mm -hmm. my usual place I hang out. Uh, and again, I'm still definitely not dressed to blend in um, as I'm still in, in <laughs> my, uh, my formal outfit. So. Uh, it's kind of like a James Bond moment. <laughs> uh, do you feel like any of your mo your your love moves apply? Like, um, again, no, I don't think this is something that's really strengthening my relationship mm -hmm. with with, um, uh, with Esteban currently. Okay. Esteban, um, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, however, that was a, um, a a a twelve on the dice. Oh. So, um, <laughs> nice, very good. Oh, oh. Lady Fortune is so uh, really um, free to get away with this. Uh huh. Yeah. So I think no. In 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 this, I think in this instance, uh, and as well as the because like the, this is an ongoing scene between the two characters. I think I'm just going to choose to get away without being spotted. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think we kind of see. I think as we go to that shot, we kind of see that the shock on on um, on Hector's face, and you know, but at this point, he kind of like climbs down and um and drops off the balcony we probably get a few sort of dramatic cut shots to various um shots of him landing in the undergrowth from various different angles but oh yeah, yeah like, like slow motion and then <laughs> shot after shot after shot of you like uh like it's a moment where the audience is like oh, is he going to make it and then you roll off uh you roll back up uh, completely unscathed miraculously unscathed because uh, it's a pretty tall it's like you're at least on the second floor but um, it's a soap opera. You survive, no problem. <laughs> so, so okay. mm -hmm. Enrique, I cannot, I cannot forgive this for you to take up arms against your people. But there are other matters that need to be addressed. You um, need to mother. bring, you need to bring our father to our mother. Yes, our mother told us that we should. That I should make peace with you, and I will try. That can wait. It was her last wish. I cannot forgive rebellion so easily. 
I cannot I, forgive I, oppression so easily, but let, let us put that aside. You sided Please. with murderers. You sided with rebels. You sided with terrorists. But, and you sided with oppressors. You sided with murderers as well. But, Esteban, let's put this aside. Let's just be a family, just for now, please. It's what our mother would have wanted. Ooh, are you trying to demand what he deserves? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm taking advantage of my twin's reputation. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm offering family, which is something of value. And yeah. I don't think they love me, but I don't think mm -hmm. they love me. No, but, I think you're right in that. Yeah. Oh, I've rolled a seven. So I've got an eight. I've got oh. an even a nine because Ooh. I'm still, uh, I think, wait, let me, let me check my. Oh, yeah, yeah. The conditions. The conditions. No, my conditions give me a plus one, actually. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, that's a total nine. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, uh, yeah, on a hit, the target of, you, of your demand chooses one. Uh, so which one do you choose for uh, Esteban? Our father needs to see our mother. Th that much is only right and proper. He was missing for her life. He should be there to see her off into the afterlife to be the husband he should have been all along. But you, my brother, I cannot forgive what you have done. I cannot forgive this at all. Ask him to come, but I will meet him there. But I will not stand beside a murderer and have our mother's body honored beside one that dishonors her memory so. And I'm uh, refusing an escalator. <laughs> Thought so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what condition do you mark? Like, I, think you I, I think I get, I, I think I'm angry about this. Yeah. I think absolutely. I'm raging. Yeah, like there's actually, just like quiet anger beneath your face. Uh-huh. Actually, no, I think I'm actually being righteous about this. I, I think. Oh. Uh -huh. so, so the opportunity I wanted to create for my move was for my father to actually come and uh, come and see my mother's body lying in grace. Uh, oh, from I... uh, from mm -hmm. the move I did earlier, because mm -hmm. I, I had an uh, option to have a opportunity come out of it. So oh, back, when well. I, back when I demanded what I wanted. I didn't actually resolve the move then. I went straight into the role oh. play and didn't actually. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, so ask him to come and see our mother, but I will not stand beside you as we honor her. You have dishonored her memory. So have you, oppressor, but, and you dishonor her last wish, even now. It's all about you. It's always been all about you. You're the the one with the power, the one who wants, wants, I don't even know what you want. You're just, you're so small, Esteban. You've always been. I will not, I will not let you keep me from my mother's side. I might have played some role in her death and I regret that. I do, I feel that. But the revolutionaries, they, they would not have come if you weren't oppressing the people. And that's when I make an exit or try to. You can shoot me in the back now. <laughs> you can shoot me in the back now. <clears throat> Are you going to though? Oh gosh. <clears throat> and as he as he goes away, I will stop and I will pick up the phone on the phone with the ivory head on the desk and I will ring a man resembling me has just left my office 
follow him, find out where the rebels are. When you find them, deal with them. And I'm giving order to my thugs. Ooh. Okay. So Enrique, what's your connection with the rebels at this point? I don't think there is one. He said that he joined them for a time and then he left because um, he wasn't really that much into being a revolutionary. He just felt that, well, he had to do something about this, but really he wanted to sail the oceans. So mm -hmm. his connection with the rebels right now is that he knows them, that he wears that too, but he doesn't know what they're planning or what they're actually doing. But he might try to find them. Yeah, now, yeah. Right now. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so actually what I want to do, yeah, I feel like... I want to have this really dramatic scene at the funeral, though. Like, it's one of those weird things where the funeral happens way too quickly, like, uh, as compared to real life. <laughs> um, and But also, let's see how the thugs do, if they are able to, to like, track down what the Black Swan haven't, you know, uh, before they show up at the funeral. I think that would be fair. Okay. Uh, so let me just get up the they show up at the funeral, right? They like crashed a party. Oh, and oh yes, definitely. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> so is it an easy job? I don't think so, mm -mm. but they are in good health, I think. Ooh, hmm. <laughs> I'd say from the last shootout, maybe not. Oh, no, so no, no, actually, thinking about it, I think you're right. Yes, yeah. uh, I think a few of them are control of the situation, so that's still like a, a plus one for sure. But yeah, because some of them are like, they, they had to <clears throat> stand against these fully armed. Okay, uh, so that would be a nine. Ooh, okay. So on a seven to nine, your target chooses one. Let's see. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that, so definitely, ooh, so let's go back. So like what's happening is, um, I'd say at this point, uh, Katharina, ooh, would she stay with you? I think she would stay with Alejandro, though. That she's she's just as attached. So there's a moment where the two of them uh, separate from the rest of the from the group. And uh, yeah, because I'd like to have a scene with uh, uh, Katharina before things. Uh, with Hector, have, actually, on oh, the way in. Okay, okay, All right. So we'll cut to that right. Yeah, let's cut to that first. Do you want to do that first before I say what happens with the thugs? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I like the idea that that uh, I've I've got this this gun concealed in whatever duffel bag or or beach bag that I have, uh, and uh, I'm uh, uh, Katerina has sent me ahead to 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 check and make sure doors are unlocked and things are are set for all of this, and I think that that I'm startled as I run into uh, Hector, who's just climbed down from that uh, balcony. And uh, I, 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 I see that I, I'm like, uh, Hector, climbing trellises is not, uh, not your uh, usual, usual thing. No, I, it's, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, Alejandro. Uh, the, Um, Esteban and Enrique have been arguing, and I, I think there was more going on at that um, with the attack on the party than 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 they they talked about. And I know that that woman you're with, um, I know she knows more as well. And and I'm just. I'm so scared, Hector, uh, Alejandro. I said my own name there, uh, and I think uh, I'm just going to kind of um, like, like almost not quite swoon into his arms, but you know. Um. And I will will catch you, and I will say, Esteban is is a villain. Katerina told me that he was involved in setting all of this up. And look, look, look. I, I, uh, she, she is just, uh, just someone I knew, just someone I knew, but 
uh, it's really you that, you know, it's all for you. As I lie to your face and try to convince you that, that, that I'm going to declare my love passionately, trying to, to, to get you to, to help me in this endeavor. Mm. Oh, nice. yes. Okay. And I, I, I assume you also want to take advantage of up boy. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, physically touching them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've got a plus one from my zealous. Right. And your uh, eyes are very close to each other. Like, yes. That kind Leaning of in mm -hmm. the, 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 the meme would be now kiss, you know, it would be yeah. the, 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 the <laughs> shot and, uh, right, right. Uh, the tension uh, is like, hi. Uh huh. I am. He's not certain I'm single, so that doesn't work. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I've been at my beach house, so I'm not dressed to impress now. Oh, um, but how about your, well, I mean, it depends if your beach shirt is open. I oh, think that's, yeah, yeah certainly <laughs> strategically, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, uh, and I've been, been exerting myself, so I'm glistening a little. Um, uh, uh so really yeah, I think that'll be a, a, a plus three. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that is an 11. Oh, gosh. Dun, nice. dun, dun. Okay. So on an 11, they also tell you whether they love you or not and who else they love. Um, and the target. So in this case, Hector decides if he's going to give himself to you or reveal a secret, they probably shouldn't. Ooh, Hector has a lot of secrets. So uh, we'll see. First, uh, will you what, will you give yourself to me? Or are you going to reveal something? Pull yourself away. No, I, th I think I'm going to 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 uh, to give myself to you in this moment. Oh. And I think um, <laughs> Hector, uh, you know, passionately kisses um, um, uh, Alejandro, um, um, and uh, oh, and um, you, uh, Alejandro, will clear a condition because you're currently one of my suitors. So. Uh, Ooh. Excellent. I will I am less angry now, just zealous. <laughs> <laughs> um and yeah, and I think um um uh um he will uh um you, you will be um and I think as he pulls away um he will um pull back and say uh, Alejandro, I think deep down it's it's always been you I've loved you <gasps> you you treated me like a, a a real person i I thought that well enrique Enrique is a good man too, but I do not think I can be tangled up in their lies and deception anymore but you you've always been there for me I say absolutely no more lies oh, no more deception. Come, we must make things ready. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, so um wow, we are really heading towards this like climactic scene together. Uh so we cut back to our our thugs, and they have managed to track down the black swan. Uh, I'm going to officially choose the option of the crew beats up your target, your target marks the condition. And in this case, I'll say what happens is uh, your crew is able to take out half of them, right? So uh, there's like a solid firefight between the two of them. There's, but it's like happening off of the resort, like towards where they were trying to like gather more ammunition, more guns. Uh, way too many guns uh, for what was going to happen next. And your crew comes limping back. They're really heavily hurt by this point, but the Black Swan are also heavily hurt. So we're going to see what happens. Uh, as we move through this montage, we see Alma crying over her grandmother as they're preparing her for the 
for the for the so she's crying over the casket. She's completely a mess. And she whispers to herself, Alejandro, I know you'll save me again, just like you did before. Alejandro, I know you, I know you will. And uh, <laughs> and uh, at the same time, it comes to Katharina preparing uh, her guns. And I, I want to like know what each one is doing to prepare before the funeral, before we get to the funeral proper. Right. So what are, let's hear from, uh, let's see. I think I want to start with Enrique and end with Esteban, right? So let's start with Enrique. How are you preparing for the funeral? Uh, I think I will wear a black uh, black suit that I favor, which incidental we, we will look like uh, the one that Esteban's wearing because we have kind of the same taste in suits because we're twins. It's not intentional at that point, but there is uh, the, the potential for confusion. And then I will take my papa and I will hesitate in the cabin of the, of the boat, but I will pack my gun. Ooh, Just so there's like this lingering shot of you. Yeah, like I'm taking it back do in I, the holster. I, uh -huh. Yeah, I put, I put it in the holster and then I go out and then I think and then I go back and uh, unload the gun. So there is just one bullet in it, which is the one in the in the oh, chamber, yeah. but uh, not not anymore. And but that's because uh, Enrique actually forgot about the one in the chamber. So. Ooh. He, I, I mean, his it. mother asked him to to make peace, and you can't make peace with with guns. That's the whole thing. Right, right. But fate left that one bullet in there. Yes, uh, in that yeah. gun. I want to okay. have that. Bullet. Perfect, perfect. And then let's go to Alejandro. How are you preparing? So I, I think we see me, you know, whisper some things to to uh, um, Hector, kind of sending sending him off and then i see think we see katarina uh, uh enter into the frame and uh we embrace uh uh and uh i hand her the uh, uh essentially the usher's outfit that we've uh, uh obtained for for her to 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 be at the funeral um and uh, to, to help her sneak in um since it's become clear that the the rest of the backs on something has happened to them and it's it, it's just us yeah absolutely so she as you do that she takes off the so she takes off the eye patch and you can see her milky white eye uh underneath it and the horrendous scar but somehow it's super hot on her i love absolutely. the idea of hot stars yeah um and uh, she, we're, we're going to just keep it vague, right? But I'm thinking it makes sense for this telenovela one last sex scene before, like you know, it makes no sense, but right uh, in, in in the in the the, the <laughs> kitchen in the, the 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 storeroom there, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right. So she just like makes it a show of taking off her clothes for the usher outfit, and then things escalate between the two of you. We can't hide our passions. Oh yeah, of course not. Of course Get not. The shirt off. There right. we go. Yeah, and then there's this whole point where, so my question for you is who thinks this is going to be the last time? Like who's convinced that one of you might die? Is it her or is it you? I think Katarina knows that that uh, 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 somebody's going to die. Um, and uh, I, I, I think that this is the start of our new life together. Oh, tragic. Yeah, so she's being extra gentle, extra loving with you. Um, like, and you can tell that she's, she's worshiping this moment. She's trying to drag it out for as long as she can. There are like tears in her eyes that she refuses to shed in this moment. Nice. Uh, <laughs> and then we're going to go to Hector. What's Hector doing to prepare for the funeral? So yeah, I think we see uh, Hector in the um, uh, in the kitchen um, preparing, um, like a um, uh, he's obviously preparing all the food for the for the um, uh, for the wake, um, and um, it's um, uh, the, the, I think there's like a, a particular like um, you know a stew that that he's making. It's always like the stew that's made when there's like a big emotional thing happening. It's it's you know. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. 
Um, yeah, and I also, I think I want to say in this moment that Paolo, the, your brother, actually comes up to you and, uh, and says, you don't want to be here, brother. You don't want to go to this funeral. This is your last chance to leave. Paolo, what are you doing here? What are you talking about? I I have to be here for 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 um oh I've, I've forgotten the lady's name. Um um Ah Eleanor Eleanor uh, for Eleanor, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh and your brother looks at you and he says the truth is, I've loved Esteban for a long time. And this is the only reason I've listened to him for so long. But I love you too, brother. We are still family. Please don't make me choose between the both of you. Please don't go to the funeral. I can't protect you if you go there. I do not think Esteban is the man you think he is. It is you, brother, who should leave. And uh, at that exact moment, he sort of falls over and then his jacket opens up and there's this, you can see the blood pooling underneath his shirt where he was hurt in trying to go after the black swans. And he, he passes out unconscious on the, on the floor. What do you do? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I think we'll see a similar thing to before to like, you know, um, um, uh, the, the as um, um, Hector uh, grabs a, um, a, a, you know, a, a kitchen towel off of the um, off of the work uh, worktop and, and goes down to, you know, um, again, hold the blood in and, um, you know, we'll just yell his name and uh, yeah. Right. Like, follow, follow. Right. And then it it fades. And last... But not least, we have Esteban. So how is Esteban preparing for the funeral? Esteban's in his chambers. He's putting on his suit. He's tying his tie. He looks at himself in the mirror, looks at his bed, freshly made. He sighs. He looks at his watch. Where are you, Paulo? Where are you? I needed you today. <sighs> and he picks up the picture of his father and the camera zooms in on it. I guess I will have to do it myself. And he puts it down on his dresser, face down, and picks up the gun next to it and slides it into his coat. Ooh, okay. And then so now we're moving into the, the funeral. So we can see it's lavish. There are flowers everywhere. Uh, the casket is out in the front. It's an open casket. Uh, but Eleonora looks beautiful as she is. Uh, they've taken their time to really do that for her. She's so beloved by everyone on the island. And... Uh, there are people who are crying by the casket. Alma herself is just completely like besides herself sobbing, just whispering, I promise, I promise, grandmother, I'll do what you wanted. I'll work with uncle. And at this moment, yeah, I would say that how do each of you, we're probably going to focus on the twins first because I have a feeling the other two are going to like, come in. So what are our twins doing here at the funeral? Well, I'm coming in with my father. And I think for most people, it's it's quite confusing because we wearing mostly the same suit. Maybe the lapels are a bit different, but they look really alike. Right. So you're just like walking out there 
uh, in the open and people are like whispering behind their hands, looking between the both of you. Your father holds your hand and he says, I, I don't know if I can, like he's looking at the casket. Um, and he says, Enrique, I, I don't, I don't know if I can, maybe I should, maybe I should go back. Maybe I should go back to the boat. No, come on. You wanted to do this. You came here to, to see her for the last time. I think it would have been You can go if you want to. And he, he sort of like, you see him take a deep breath and he says, Enrique, you're right. Let's let's say goodbye. Let's say goodbye to your mother. And he walks, and uh, you can see there are lilies everywhere. But what's what is uh, Esteban doing? Esteban uh, looks at Enrique. We should be with him. Know that I do not want you here, but she does, and we need to be there for our father even if he was not there for us. I think at that point, I will just ignore Esteban a bit. I'm looking at him and you, you see that I want to say so much to you, but I'm like, let's not fight here. I know no, you're right. provoking me, but let's not. I agree. And I'll, I'll step up behind our father. And I'll step in and I'll put uh, my hand on his shoulder. She missed you greatly. It broke her heart when you went away. And your your father just breaks down into tears. He's holding on to you, gripping on to your shoulders. And he says, oh, Esteban, if I if I'd only known, I... I woke up in a strange island. I couldn't remember anything. It was too late. It was too late by the time I remembered. I am so sorry, my son. You have every right, every right to hate me. I do not hate you. I love you. I've always loved you. I love you and my daughter will love you. And I would like to flash back to actually reveal a secret, if I could, please. Ooh, yes. Of course, of course. So we're looking at that moon. <clears throat> Is this reveal a shocking truth? Yes. Okay, so when you flash back to reveal a shocking <clears throat> truth about another PC... Mark oh, sorry, it's about, it's about another PC. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sabine, is Alma your daughter? It's oh. possible. It's possible. I mean, yeah, maybe. Oh, Maybe it was like one of those like you didn't know it was someone. And yes, someone. I didn't. I didn't know. I yeah, I yeah. was with someone, and maybe she came up to Esteban because she had seen his picture in the paper and thought he was me or something like that. Ooh, yeah. yes, yes. Oh. Okay. So, uh, oh, where's the dice roll? No problem. So you mark a condition and roll with your conditions marked. Okay, is that? That would be a uh, nine, I believe. Ooh, okay. So on a nine, choose one. <clears throat> okay. I... And I, I'm, I'm saying this while Esteban's there. Uh, uh, let me go back. I said my daughter, uh, my niece, your daughter, to Esteban. Who you, Enrique. Sorry, too many E's uh, to Enrique. Your daughter is here. She should be with us. Enrique I, looks a bit thunderstruck. I have been there for her where you haven't. My what? Your Ooh. daughter. And I will stand over, move over, take Alma's hand. 
and bring her up. So we're all standing at the top as family. Ah. So before before you're able to like reach out, so you're reaching out for her hand, and Alma turns to you, and at that moment, real thunder strikes in the distance, and the and the clouds <clears throat> tear apart, and the rain starts to come down, and in slow motion, Katharina comes up with her guns, and she's screaming, ah! and she starts to like attack everybody at the funeral, and it's Alejandro next to her. I think yes, but I see that Alma's there in the middle. And I think that I will throw myself between oh, oh gosh. The, the gunfire and her. I can't let she's an innocent flower. I I I will throw myself uh in the way. The other two can die for all I care. But she <laughs> I will protect. <laughs> So this sounds like you are acting with desperation. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Let's absolutely. Let's see. Ooh, there's a minus two to that. Um, uh, am I doing this for love? Yes. For vengeance? No. Um, and uh, I, I think that Katerina and I are definitely the center of attention here. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So this with a plus zero. Ooh, let's go. Four. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I should have I should have laughed. <laughs> I would have laughed. So yes. <laughs> okay, so no! Oh my god. Okay. I so, shout. Okay, so this is um how do you feel about Alma? Do we want it to get shot? Do you want this to not happen? Like, are you okay with it seeming I, I, like she got shot? I think she should get shot, but we don't know whether okay. she lives or dies at this moment. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Let's I have actually it that would way. try to protect her as well. Oh. So, oh. I mean, they, they say she's my daughter, and I, I don't. Ah. Okay, okay. So how about um, if the two of you mark a condition, right? Um, then we'll say that our uh, Enrique is able to, like, throw himself uh in front of Katerina but takes the shot in the shoulder how's that like does that make sense sure and if I mark a condition I will have a meltdown anyway oh so. <gasps> nice. perfect let's melt down <laughs> hey so I love uh, the meltdown of the twin actually uh-huh <laughs> okay so uh should I do that now okay yeah I should uh sure. so I read it up that time? in front of uh, uh, I mean it's probably right because Katarina won't know if I'm Enrique or Esteban uh, and I will then uh, proceed to uh, yell at her that um, yeah I will yell at her that you know what Katarina you should have taken better aim you thought I was Esteban I'm not but at that point right now, if you had killed me instead of him, that would have been fine with that. Because maybe then people would have seen him for what he is. And maybe we, they would have seen that I am not, that I am willing to take a bullet for my daughter, for my brother, for my father. I have been a flake. I know that. I have been running around and he has been getting into politics and being successful and rich and all kinds of stuff. And now he's got this lovely resort. And I wanted that. I wanted that when I grew up, but I don't now. Right now, all I, all I want is, I don't know what I want. I just, I got my mother killed. I, I, I got my daughter endangered. I have no idea what I want. So please go ahead, Katarina, shoot me instead of him. Ah, and at this moment, maybe it teaches him a lesson. I think Katharina is going to reveal because she has the she has the guns out, right? Uh, and uh, and she says, "No, it's not your fault. In fact, it was Esteban who made sure that your mother would die at that party." Gasp. So, <laughs> can I act? Can I act with desperation, please? Oh yeah, you can certainly, and also you can like do any of your flashback moves. 
uh, but after this, uh, I'm going to try to shoot her before she finishes saying that sentence. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, are we okay with this though, Lola? Like, how do you feel about her? Sure, sure. I, I want to know what Hector's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, also. Uh, sorry, I'm still flipping around between the different sheets. No problem. Uh, I mean, I'll Hector right after this, so. Um, uh, yeah. Act, act with desperation. There we go. Are you doing this for love? No, I'm not doing this for love. <laughs> Am I doing this for vengeance? She's just about to expose me. You better believe I'm doing this uh, to get back at her. And actually, no, no, I don't think I am. I think about it. I'm doing this to protect myself more than anything else. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think I get that. Mm -hmm. The question is whether I'm in control or not. You are. Someone's just just someone's just burst into a uh, my mother's funeral with and started shooting at my family. <laughs> I can't think of any re any reasonable thing that would actually put me in control here. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so still, I, I think I think I roll, <clears throat> and I get a six. Oh, oh my gosh! Okay, so first mark a condition. I and now I think I'm angry. Oh yeah, for sure, absolutely raging. Uh, in fact, as you try to to shoot her. Would Hector do something to try to stop this, or shall I say, someone else intervenes? Um, I, I was actually thinking of of, of leaping in on the uh, on the action, so um, yeah, I'm I'm happy to kind of um, uh, jump in here. Um, yeah, so just I, narrate. Tell me how you stop him because so, you don't have to roll for it. Okay, uh, sure. Um, so I think um, uh, we see um, like um, Hector's being stood. Um, you know, he's in his his sort of like um formal uh waiting waiting outfit now. Uh you know, um he's there, he's got like a, a glass, um, you know, a tray of drinks um uh with the um you know the 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 towel down over his um down over his arm. Um and as everything like starts uh, going off, um he drops the tray and the tea towel slips off of his hand. We just kind of get one of those very, very brief flashbacks. Um, to sort of um, his brother um, leant up against like a, a, the storeroom wall, um, looking very pale with the holster at his belt empty. Um, and then we flash to the uh, gun in um, uh, in um, Hector's hand um, as he just says, I'm sorry, Esteban, but this has to stop and pulls the trigger. Oh my gosh! Okay, oh, so I, I'm I'm uh, full in for that. I am full in for that. <laughs> Would you yeah. like me to avoid certain death? Ooh, I think that makes sense. Let's go for it. Okay, so in that's under our other moves. When you face certain death, roll plus conditions marked. So let's see. You currently have two, two conditions. So just roll with a plus two. So that would be a thirteen. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, so let's see. I'm like rapidly going through all the tabs. <laughs> so let's see. On a see. 10 plus, the audience chooses one from the list. Oh, I see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to. Someone you choose saves you just in time because uh, what's going to happen in this moment is Alma will push you out of the way, uh, but she looks different now. This Alma, is, her eyes are made of steel and her face is hard and she looks straight at you, Hector, and she says, no, he has to live. I'm going to see him get taken to trial. Men, move in. And she snaps her fingers and the place gets sworn with the cops. And she says, uncle, I have all the evidence I need to drag you through this. You are going to pay for your crimes. <sighs> Hector, Hector, how could you? I've always been there for you. I've always done right by you. When your family, when the restaurant closed, who looked after your mother? 
Who was there for you? How I could you betray me? How it was that the restaurant closed, though, knowing you. I've always loved you, and you betray me. How could you? And I'm declaring my love passionately, but I'm also using my uh, playbook move. Ooh. Uh, which is uh, dangerous passion. Ooh. Okay. Okay. When Here's you your... angry, when you angry, express your love. Make the roll for the uh, for express your love passionately, but use all the questions from strike out at someone vi with voice or violence. Oh. Okay. Okay. Shall we do that? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, the questions for that are... Have you caught uh, them off guard? I don't think I've caught them off guard, but I do think they've wronged me. Oh, yes. <laughs> fair, fair. And I don't think I'm in any control at all yes. at this point. But you, but you have a plus one. Oh, sorry, I only rolled one dice there. Oh, oh why no is problem. it not expecting two? Oh, yeah, sometimes uh, so that would th be a seven. Oh, okay. So on a seven, let's see. The target gives themselves to you or reveals they, a, pro a secret they probably shouldn't. Hector, what do you do? Oh, um, so um, I think um, the, uh, the gun falls from Hector's hand and clatters on the, um, on the flagstones of the, uh, the, the, the chapel floor. Um, and he, um, will, um, uh, reach out for, um, um, uh, for, um, uh, Esteban's hands and say, Esteban, that, that is the passion that I fell in love with, but I can't. I can't forgive you for what you've done, for what you, for what you've done to your own mother. But I can't stop loving you either. Oh, what horrible taste you have in men! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think at H that moment. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Hector. This is not the end. I have a very good lawyer, and <laughs> as you're dragged away, yeah. Right, and then uh, at that moment, I think Katharina is going to look at Alejandro and say, my love, this is where we make our escape. Quickly, come with me. Are you going to go with her? Oh, I think you're muted. <laughs> All I've said is, oh boy, oh gosh, uh, through her. Um, oh my. I think, no, because I'm a cast regular. I think that 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 uh, uh, my hand goes out and I, I pull it back. And at that moment, uh, if we're cool with having this being the last scene, the last moment, unless someone wants to jump in. And say, well, we can still have an epilogue after this, but basically, in that moment of of hesitation, Katharina looks at you and she lets down her guard, and she gets shot. Oh! <laughs> because she's still the the police still consider her dangerous. Oh, yeah. she has all those guns on her, uh, and she falls into your arms, and she says, "Alejandro, I will always." I'll always, and she starts to fade. Uh, and I think this is a good moment to have the credits. Oh yeah. Because we're not sure if she's gonna make it or not. But is everybody okay with this? Like, does anyone want a final scene or? I I, I would uh, epilogue uh, like a next time on. Oh great. yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, uh, so as the music uh, rolls in. As the credits roll up, there's like a square to the side where you can see what's going to happen next. Uh, I think it would make sense to start with, I want to go in reverse order again, where we start with one twin and end with the other. Like we can start with Esteban and end with Enrique, right? So Esteban, what's what's there for you in the next episode? 
I think it shows him in a it shows him in a cell. He comes in, he's in a, a jumpsuit, he's standing there, and there's a uh, there's a figure comes to the cell door. The bars open, and uh, the figure walks in, and it's El Presidente. And Esteban looks up and smiles, and holds up his hand to undo the chains that are on them. And uh, El Presidente says. I can only do this so many times, but you are so valuable for me. But you cannot fail me again. Okay, and then let's go to, uh, how about Hector? What's, what's in store for Hector in the next episode? Yeah, so I think that we see um uh i think that we see hector um is um in an intense conversation um with one of the twins though it's uncertain as to which it is um as um you know in in, in sort of the moonlight um uh and um we just see um the um uh we see um uh hector holding out his hand and a ring being slipped onto it <gasps> oh gosh i love it i love it okay and then how about alejandro what do we see i think we see a a a, a hospital corridor uh and we see a a a, a male nurse go into a room and uh, uh, when the camera comes around, we can see that it is Alejandro and he has snuck in and we see him by uh, the bedside of, of Katerina. She's in a coma, of course. And uh, I'm like, this is, this is all Esteban's fault. I will avenge you. Delicioso. Yes, yes. Very good. Uh, and as you do that, uh, Katharina squeezes your oh, hand yes. in return, uh, and a single tear comes from your eyes. <laughs> 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 okay, and uh, and then how about for Enrique? I think we see Enrique at the beach resort. Um, and at first you think maybe it's Esteban because there are people around him and he's telling stories about sea travels. But then the camera, pa pa camera pans around and you see the father, El Elicio and Alma, who are standing there also and looking at him and he goes over and they're sipping drinks, but uh, the mood is somber. And he says, I don't think they will keep Esteban locked up for long. We need to be pre prepare. And uh, Alma turns to you and says, don't worry, father, we're still not yet done. Okay, and then so that's, uh, I think that's where we're going to end uh, our game of Passion de las Passiones. Uh, I think we're going to wrap up the recording here and then we're going to have a debrief after sure. the recording. Uh, but to anyone who's watching, thank you so much. Uh, this was not where I was expecting to going, but uh, to be going, and that's a great thing. It was fantastic. Everybody did such a good job. Uh, but I think this is when we say bye to everybody watching. So bye. bye. Thank you so much. Ending the recording.